Next up, and walking through the tunnel, led by Jose Diestro, a little smile from the 34-year-old, Pincho Fernandez, his partner. Just taking in the surroundings, it is a beautiful setting, it is a beautiful stadium. The paddle season began a few weeks ago. This the first event on the Premier Paddle calendar. There will be eight events across 2023. Four or at P1 level, if you're a follower of tennis, it's equivalent to the four Grand Slams, then four events at Masters level. And that's also reflected in the points and the prize money that is up for grabs. The prize pot here in Doha, over half a million euros. Gabby Recky just saw the yellow top, a legend in the sport, played to the age of 45, working with Fernandez and Diestro. housekeeping just being explained about the ball change slightly longer in paddle than tennis they'll play for a couple more games the first change at nine followed by 11. he's played out the best of three tiebreak sets and miss frigo will now digitally toss the coin for our first match what will it be star or qatar it is qatar the voice of andy king the mc for the event Played out of the best of three tie-break sets. Thank you, Ms. Freaker, and thank you, Bull Paddle, for your continued sponsorship of the Uridu Katakai. Sorted. They play with three balls in play. It'll be a five-minute warm-up. Warm if you're thinking, and this is your first time with us, that it is similar to tennis, it's a variation of the sport of tennis. The court is 25% smaller than a standard tennis court. It measures 20 meters long by 10 meters wide. The net is 88 centimeters above the ground. You can see the perspex all around. That's three meters high and four meters 
at the end. Let's start with Antonio Fernandez, who goes by the name of Pincho. 30 years of age now, stands at 5 foot 11. Spanish, lives in Madrid, and his partner Jose Diestro, a little bit older at 34, a little bit taller at 6 foot, also from Spain. He has a singles ranking of 35. You can see he's a left hander, plays in the drive position. Sunglasses very much needed, not a cloud in the sky over the Khalifa International Tennis and Squash Complex here in Doha. Five minute warm-ups, they do get a good feel for conditions, their opponents settle themselves in. Bound to be a few nerves. This is the first match on centre court or the first Premier Paddle event of the year. And now we welcome Javi Barahona, 24 years of age, stands at five foot 10. This is an all Spanish affair, the first match. 51 in the singles ranking, born lives in Madrid, plays in the drive position. Javi Garcia, slightly younger at 22, same height at 5 foot 10, and a slightly higher singles ranking of 39. Borna lives in Mercia. And talks of needing a calm partner when he's on the paddle court. Valerio Polimanti, a regular on the Premier Paddle Tour last season, is in the chair for this first match. Five matches taking place on the centre court. Played out of the best of three tie-break sets. The scoring is the same as tennis, once again, if you're new to this. And we have the video referees. Andrea Benvenuto is first in the chair. They have a lot of cameras, they have a lot of angles, and each team has the opportunity to go to the video referee if they don't agree. Normally, it's played out very simply between the two pairs, but if it cannot be agreed on, they do not believe what they're hearing from the chair. They are allowed to go to the video referee. And their decision, as you'd expect, is final. And they can take as long as they like and have as many views as they like. So the Qatar Major is a 56 pair draw. 44 in by their ranking. The last two days qualifying has been taking place here. And there are four wild cards awarded. Now the top eight get a bye into the second round. So today on the centre court, we will see the, the ninth seeds and the tenth seeds in action their respective matches. It's a February start to the paddle calendar. What a beautiful sight. Just a few months ago, the world descended here for the soccer, the football World Cup. Now all eyes on Premier Paddle, the first of the four majors of 2023. It all began in Doha, and this is where we return in 2023. Players have had a little bit of time to settle in and take a look at the sights and sounds of where they're staying. Such a popular sport. I was out there at the back end of last year and there are paddle courts aplenty. Very hard to get one free though. You have to get in early or sneak in. Very popular sport in Qatar. paddle has proved transformational for the sport it's helping showcase it to fans around the world the players have spoken about the impact the premier paddle has made just in its first year of being 2,000 points for the winners over 40,000 euros per player for the winning pair. It's also the start of the season, so we'll see a number of new pairings. Not the case in our first match. Two minutes. Both pairs played together through 2022. For Barahona and Garcia.
50 long. Fifty long. Thirty fifteen. Forty fifteen. Forty thirty. Forty 
Faraona Garcia. Fazgay. Law 15. Fifty nine. Thirty fifteen. Por los tiros aquí, como han rateado, pues tienes que adaptarte un poquito más. Claro que va a influir, claro que va, que va a ser eh, fundamental y el que mejor se adapte, pues eh, es el que se va a llevar el gato al agua. Se adaptó con la volea por Pincho Fernández por el paralelo, como vemos en la repetición, encontró el espacio en el rincón de Barahona 40-15. Pelera, diestro, intenta el globo oxigenar, Barahona directamente fuera, okay. igualan Fernández. este inicio de encuentro 1-1. Juan Guemón. Turno ahora para García Mora, al servicio. Fifty log. Fifty log. Thirty fifteen.
40-15. Game. Barona Garcia. This by two games to one. Fifty love. Thirty love. Forty love. Forty fifteen. Game Fernandez, yes, two games so. Fifty love. Fifty no. Fifteen, thirty. 
fifteen forty. Fernandez Diestro. Leads by three games to two. Fifty love. Thirty love. Forty love. Forty fifteen. Game. Fernandez Diestro. Lead by four games to two. Law 15. Vamos, 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 vamos. 
15 all. Thirty fifteen. Thirty all. Forty thirty. Dios. Advantage. Fernández Diestro. Game Fernandez Diestro. This by five uh, games to two. En agarra confianza. Total quedan dos más. Pero prefiero que la tires afuera con fe que Tristón. Suéltate, si vos tenés un manejo de locos, es difícil que la tires afuera así. Vamos, bien la pegan ahí, después no te apures con la volea. Una cosa, en defensa, ellos están jugando muy cómodos cuando están adelante. Nosotros la pasamos para el otro lado. Las transiciones son muy lentas. Que más llegan corto y no es que se la bajamos y presionamos o subimos a volear. Un poquito más de presión. Dale. Escucha, estamos acá al lado, eh. Son errores nuestros. Sí, sí, son tonterías nuestras. Baja, vida. Vamos, eh. Escucha, con fe, con fe, papá, vamos. Tenés que creer en vos, dale, va. Nos soltamos los nervios los dos, eh. Vamos, no te suelto mucho, quédate así. Así estás bien, así estás bien. Vos me tenés que subir, vos me tenés que subir. Dale, ¿Va? Javito. Él está trabajando bien, vos marcame la diferencia, dale, va, vamos. Y vos tenés que es, pegaste dos bien, la volea no te vuelvas loco. Que no, no agarres la moto y vamos. te subas, eh. Escucha, vamos a ir 5-4, está bien. Y te cambio, sí. vamos, eh. Sí, 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 sí. Vamos, confía. Sí, Javi. Che, qué bien que estamos. Estamos ahí, sí. parece que somos sparring. Vamos, viejo. Vamos a quererlo, eh. Vamos. No estamos acá a tomar por culo para jugar ahí. Time. Ah, vamos. Dale. Vamos, Javi, eh. Dale, Javi. Dale. Vamos, eh. Vamos. Sí, Javi, te va. Fifty love.
30 love Forty love. Forty fifteen. Game at first set, Fernandez Diestro. Six against two two. Desde ese lado 100%, le tienes que dar. Vale, hace falta la pegada. Y un 40 nada, un 40-15 le das 100%. 5-2-40-15 le tienes que dar. Bien los dos, eh. Pero no, no nos paremos de pata, ¿vale? Y no dejemos de animarnos, señores. Sí. Vamos, vamos, no me entren. Estamos ya de vuelta en este primer encuentro de la jornada aquí en el Main Court de este Oredo Qatar Major 2023. 6-2 para Pincho Fernández Cano y José Antonio García Diestro ante Javi García Mora y Javi Barahona. Jorge Martínez, como siempre, acudo a ti para Time. conocer qué podemos, hacer, qué podemos ver para cambiar las estadísticas que había en pantalla. Pues lo primero que tienen que hacer los Javis es... Eh... Terminar con la sangría de, de errores no forzados porque era un error bastante, bastante alto. ¿no? Eh, y luego lo que les pide su, su entrenador, ¿no? que intenten ser un set. poquito más definitivos, que sean más que definitivos, que sean más incisivos con las jugadas, que vuelguen, que jueguen alguna, algo más, ¿no? que estén más, más metidos en el partido. Por el contrario, eh, Jorge de Benito pues eh, les pide que mantengan la atención en lo que están haciendo, love. que se animen, que sigan, que no bajen la guardia en ningún momento porque es consciente que, que el partido puede cambiar en dos bolas. Paraona, agresivo en el primer compás de este segundo set. Toca como puede. Controló los pies García Mora de Cano, 15, no, 30, 0. Llega Mora, pero no define, tampoco con el revés, pero fuerza el error de Pincho Fernández Cano, 40-0. Momento juego, tranquilo. Para Barahona Mora. 
Pues sí, juego pues haciendo lo que les estaba pidiendo su entrenador, ¿no? Que sean un poquito más agresivos, que sean un poco más valientes. Otros. Y eso, pues de momento, en este primer juego, les está dando resultado. También están obligados, ¿no? Porque van a abajo, es su servicio y sería un demasiada ventaja dar el primer servicio a Pincho y a Dios. Pero bueno, el juego no ha acabado aún y vamos a ver qué es lo que pasa. Game. By Jona Garcia. New balls, please. First game, second set. Vamos a aprovechar, Jorge, si te parece este momento en el que, como hemos escuchado, se van, bueno, pues a cambiar las pelotas para recordar una de las que era la noticia probablemente o alguna de las noticias del 2022 ya ese acuerdo alcanzado entre Premier Padel y la WHO Foundation para concienciar en el 2022 sobre los problemas de salud mental y que a través del padre y los jugadores, bueno, pues que se visibilizara y se concienciara. Y en este 2023, pues tanto Premier Padel como la WHO Foundation se quieren solidarizar y quieren aportar su granito de arena con, bueno, pues los incidentes eh, 50 que han ocurrido en Turquía y Siria por los devastadores terremotos que todos conocemos y que... Dirty love. We have an all Spanish affair here on Centre Court. There are now more than 20,000 paddle courts in Spain with an estimated 6 million active players in the country. It is the second most popular sport Forty following love. from football. It really is the, the heart of paddle. It's also the second biggest sport in Argentina 40, behind football. Great reflexes from Diestro. He shaped up for the power, he went for the touch. And they get the game. game. Fernandez Diestro. One game all. 22 year old now, Javi Garcia. He himself is a huge football fan, loves playing it. We're not practicing and playing paddle, fan of Love Valencia. Of Describes himself as a very steady player, but he does need that calming influence alongside him. His ranking's 39. Fifteen all. Not far off, Diestro. There, you saw the interception came cut straight across. They're very clever at working their way forward, Fernandez and Diestro. Fifteen, thirty. Playing that little floated ball, getting some height on it, enough depth to allow themselves time to move forward and take the net. Momentarily shut that little window of opportunity for their opponents. Interesting play by Barahona. He's not going for as much power in this second set. Using the bandeca. Defensive smash. Oh, beautiful Chiquita from Pincho Fernandez. Look at the way he scoops up the ball and drops it 30, down 40. to the feet of his opponent. Very difficult ball to play off. Breakpoint opportunity. Yeah. 
Clean through break points, the 19th seeds. They are now three from three on break points, and it gives them the lead of not just a set, but now a break at 2 1 in the second set. Ahora enojate y sufrí. Sí, sí. No te, no te la juegues. Intenta meterle más presión. Da perfecto, pero para donde queda. Fíjate que tiraste para un lado, para el otro. No te vuelvas loco. Escucha, para mí, si el globo va bueno a pincho, vos subí y vos jugá que subís y bajás, cosa que dude. Vale. Vos cubrite el revés. Vale. Si la tira lento, te metes, pero que no te pase por acá. De último que juegue por ahí. Vale. ¿Estamos? Vamos a hacerlo dudar un poquito. Escucha, este game estuvo bien, eh. Vamos, eh. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Javi, vamos, vamos a confiar, eh. Escucha, vamos a enojarnos y a resolver ahora, porque voy a terminar el partido y no podemos hacer nada. Eso es, vamos, vamos. ¿eh? Vamos, vamos, vamos. Así como estamos, lo podemos dar vuelta, eh. Vamos, Javi, bien, bien. Vamos a confiar, eh. Confía. Para mí, Confía la que sí nada, te puedes reprochar es Pincho está allá atrás, muerto y vos estás dormido. Viste que te tira una chiquita y te agarra. Este está despierto, te la tira, tac, toque para allá. Ahí me despierto. Vamos, vamos por este resto, eh. Va, va, Javi, vamos por este resto, vamos, eh. Vamos que se puede, ¿eh? Sí, claro. vamos. Confía, ¿eh? Vamos, sí, los dos. Sí. vamos, vamos. Actitud. Va. Bien, ¿eh? Vamos a probar, vamos a probar esa jugada. ¿eh? Venga. Va. Sin prisa. Yo no es que hay tú. que dividir. Vale. Pero vamos a hacer lo que juegue sí, con vos, bueno. ¿eh? Sí, pero... Y si quieres ir, anda. Por eso es que cuando... Pero escuchá, pero vamos a solo dudar. Como que Barahona sí. está y vos vas y venís. Te das el paso y te venís. O sea, que el otro le cante. Que dude. Vamos a ir. Dale. Vamos, ¿eh? Venga, 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 venga. Vamos a romper este el juego, ¿eh? Este es el juego, ¿eh? Vamos, vamos, vamos. The coach is the extra pair of eyes, able to see things from the side, able to separate themselves from the action, from the emotion. And there's no one better to do that than Gabby Recker with his words to the pair of Javi Barahona and Javi Garcia, who are up against it now, setting a breakdown with Pincho Fernandez to serve. He's so careful, he's fallen foul of that a few times in this match, Badahona. We saw in the last game he was taking the pace off, but through that first set, a number of times he went for the power, and Diestro was there to sweep things up. It's a wonderful stadium, the centre court, the Khalifa International Tennis and Squash Complex. It's had a busy few weeks. Great and good of the tennis world here of the last few. And now the best in world paddle here for the week. 30-15. Most played shot and paddle the lob. Followed by the volley, and that was sharp from Fernandez to bring up game points to try and consolidate this second set break right into the corner. Game. Fernandez, yes. And with that slam of the racket against the metal of the cage, the Three, game, game is one. done and the break is consolidated. 19th seats in a very healthy position, position in this first of five matches on centre court. There was talk that it was Jose Diestro who had found another partner for 2023, which is what led to the end of their union in early December, but things didn't work out. So back together they came and looking so far to be a good decision. 
plenty of experience out here with Fernandez and Diestro. annoyed with himself he saw the flight of the ball as it left the racket knew it was going to hit the back of the cage been so effective up at the net yesterday look how quickly he charged in off the short ball 30 15 no hesitation whatsoever Just had to make sure that none of him touched the net. 14, if he were to come 15. away with that point, it didn't. There we go. Remember, there is the video review setup that they can use if they're not sure about something. But normally it can be decided between the players on court and with the chair umpire. So what he was trying to do, change the direction, do the fake on his opponents, wasn't able to find it, smashed it into the side of the case. It was just the one breaker serve for which the 19 seeded pairs pairing lead by. It is a set and three. No, No, no. Tenemos que ganar la jugada, la seguimos. Pues si de cuatro jugadas ganamos tres en el nuestro. Aparte, dio resultado. Sí, sí, sí. Bueno, vamos, sigamos. Vamos, vamos, vamos ahora. Vamos. vamos. No seas cabrón, y no le tires lento, por favor. Evítalo. Evítalo. La dos que le tiraste. Si le vas a tirar, tiene que ser un misil. Pero si no, seguime con esta que no pasa nada. Javi, viene, viene, bien. Bien, bien. ahora, todos dentro yo. Vamos. Nos vamos a enganchar, vamos a confiar, eh. Viento ahora, eh. Luego con cada mitad de pista no pegan, no le pegan. No, no. la trata de saber. Aparte, fíjate, pincho, te quiso cambiar, vos estabas atento, tac. Si pasa por el medio, vos tenés que estar atenta, si quieres un poco por el medio, sí, que te tiempo a meterte. Pero no adivinar, no dejar un espacio, no crear un espacio. Vamos, 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 vamos. Escuchá, concentrémonos. Ahora parece que no, la bandera va para allá, pero se frena, eh. Se frena así. Poquito, poquito. Vamos, eh. Vamos. Vale. Tú saques. Y sigue caminando para adelante, pincho, que está perfecto, tío. Vamos. Está la borda. The good, where the great and good ply their trade. Just a final couple of words to Pinche Fernandez. Still got the break be Jose Diestro to serve. The first of eight events on the Premier Paddle Calendar of 2023, the breakdown of four majors, of which this is the first, and then four P1 events. That's the level below the majors. It's a real game changer in terms of points love. prize money on offer. 2,000 points for the winners. And over 40,000 euros per player. Prize pot of over half a million euros. Done really well with the Chiquita. Pincho That's Fernandez. Love. Just able to dip that ball low, so it dips below the height of it, causing all sorts of problems, as it has done for Barahona and Garcia. Yeah, 
yeah, lovely sliced ball from Diestro. Forty love. Again, not using the power, just getting the angle and keeping it as low as possible for game points and 4-2. Forty-fifteen. Oh, well played, Game. Fernandez. Yes. Again, just Four the to the ball causing all the problems. A comfortable hold for four-two. Fifty love. Fifteen all. Espera, por favor, espera. just allowed him a little bit of extra time because it bounced off the top of the cage. 15. 30. But they can't believe that. that. Off the top, it allowed Diestro to get himself into position. And in terms of getting the ball back in court, you just have to touch it on your opponent's side of the net. Oh, the placement again. Look at the gap he found. 15, Shortening the angle. 40. Oh, it was lovely. Playing the inside out forehand, high above shoulder height. Break points for 5 2. And a second serve to look at. It was the Garcia serve they broke in the third game of this second set. Game. Really, really Fernandez. good stuff from yes. the 19th seeds. Fernandez and Diestro. Games to two. As they did in the first set, they get the double break, and very shortly they'll be serving for their place in the second round of the Qatar Major. <laughs> Comunicación. Para que siga cayendo, ¿vale? Muy bien, macho. Muy bien. Muy bien, lo otro. ¿Cómo partido? Entraos, ¿eh? Vamos, ¿eh? Vamos, ¿eh? Vamos, vamos. Then they're caught. The match is in their hands. Time. 19 seats serving for their place in the second round. 6 2 5 2. And Pincho Fernandez has looked very comfortable on serve. Great 
improvisation there from Diestro to keep the point alive. Have to be patient now, Barahona and Garcia. As you see there, looking to take the pace off, not go for the power, but slices it, it into the side of the cage and three points from the win. Jose Diestro has been an absolute menace up at the net this afternoon. Playing his role to perfection. Out. to intercept Diestro just got to be careful he doesn't get himself too out of position and leave a gap let it drop a little bit too low job is not done yet 30 on Such an important point here at 30 all. It's going to be break point or is it going to be match point? Yay! Match point, 50 minutes on the clock. Held their nerves, stayed patient. 40, 30. himself out of position, Diestro got himself in a bit of a tangle, match point saved. Dios. Bound to be a few nerves as they get close to the finish line. But playing a very patient game, Barahona and Garcia. Misses it. Advantage, Barahona Garcia. Cannot believe it. First break point opportunity of the match after 51 minutes of play goes to Barahona and Garcia to get one of the breaks back. Fault. And then a miss serve from Fernandez. Really well played from Barahona and okay. Garcia. Barahona they Garcia. stayed very, very patient. They took Five, advantage of uh, a few nerves three. down the other end of the court and they've got one of the breaks back. Still plenty of work to do. But what a good response from Barahona and Garcia to get the break back. Still one to go, but they are still in it.
50 long. Runner points now for Barahona and Garcia, 21st seeds. And then splitting the pair through the middle. Fot. See, they're aiming the majority of the balls towards Fernandez, and it's Diestro who desperately wants to get involved to try and finish off the point. But it's Pincho Fernandez doing the bulk of the work at the moment. His partner isn't able to get himself across and finish off the point. And then the ball flies into the back of the court, and this run continues for Barahona and Garcia. Thirty fifteen. Forty fifteen. Forty thirty. Dios. I'd love to get the job done here. Close it out on the Barahona serve. Advantage para Rona Garcia. Barahona Garcia. So we play Fernandez on. The job is not lead. done just Five yet. They will have another opportunity, Fernandez and Diestro, to close out the match, having had the match points on the Pincho Fernandez serve. But a good response from Barahona and Garcia to keep the match alive. Sí, pero ahora se está, pero ahora se está metiendo, está magando más el último juego. ¿eh? 
Tú calma, no se está haciendo daño, ¿vale? Lo único que quiero es que tengáis la cabeza tranquila no, pues, vamos, y que lo no tragaste. No tú síguele caminando con decisión, ¿vale? Y tú sigas haciendo la diferencia cuando toque. Listo. Vale, no pasa nada. Seguimos con el saque, seguimos repitiendo donde estamos repitiendo. O sea, cuatro saques típicos están. Y seguimos presionando un poquito cuando toca. Vale, no nos quedamos esperando a ver qué pasa, no. Seguimos buscándolo, ¿vale? Venga, vamos 5 todavía para eso, eh. Lo peor que puede pasar es que vayamos 5-5. Efectivamente. Vamos. Bien los dos, eh. Bien los dos. Si bien hablado antes para salir a sacar el tema. Sí, de verdad, sí, de verdad. 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 Sí, de This time, though, on the Diestro serve. That's what it means to them to get that first point on the three points away. 50 love. Dirty love. Two points from the win. First of five matches for today on centre court. So what he's trying to do, shape up for the power, go for the touch. Fortunately for Diestro. 30-15. Just cut it, sliced it into the net. Had a match point in the eighth game on the Pinche Fernandez serve, went on to be broken in that game. Again, they're targeting Fernandez. But Diestro oh. was sharp, he was wise to it. They can go to the video review system if they're not happy. Parona Garcia has request the video review. I think that was always going to be the outcome. You could see they were not agreeing. The video review will have the final say. Diestro adamant in his view and his opinion, which is why we have the video review system. If it cannot be decided on the court.
video review team can take as long as they need. Long as they need, they have enough screens to see every angle to see if that did slide against the wall on its return, and they will have to go with the decision that is made. Will it be match point for a second time for the 19th seeds? Ladies and gentlemen, the ball was in. 40-15. It's exactly as Jose Diestro said. But it good. went to the video review team and it's match points. Game, set the match. Second time of asking. Yes. The first in this game, the 19th seeds. 6-2, 6-4. It's a confirmation of 6-2, 6-4-1. We're going to hear from the winners very shortly, but they are the first winners out here on the centre court at the Khalifa International Tennis and Squash Complex. We have five courts in action today. Our focus very much here on the centre court. A good win for the Spanish pair that went their separate ways for a matter of days in early December, coming back together. One of the longest standing pairs on the tour until that brief separation. They've come back together, and I bet they're glad they did. 6264. Pretty comfortable in the end. Did have the opportunity in the eighth game with the match point to close it out on serve. We're broken. The young pair of Barahona and Garcia, who announced at the start of this year they would stay together. More work for them to do. Confirmation there, 6 2 6 4. from the match that we've just seen. Really took their opportunities, Diestro and Fernandez. You have to give them that clean through the breakpoint opportunities that came their way. We're able to keep it low on the unforced errors, slightly up on the winners, and that led to that straight set 6-2, six, 6-4 six, win. And very shortly, we're going to hear them speaking. Ahora sí, ya estoy con los ganadores que avanzan a la segunda ronda. José Antonio Diestro y Pincho Fernández. Felicitaciones, chicos. Vamos a hacer la entrevista en español. Ustedes responden en español. Y después algunas palabritas en inglés de lo mismo que dijeron. Voy a empezar con vos, Diestro. Tuvieron un arranque sensacional. Vienen jugando a un pádel excelente. Vamos a ver después qué pasó en el segundo set. Se lo voy a preguntar a Pincho, pero contanos estas primeras sensaciones aquí en este debut del Qatar Major. ¿Cómo estás? Bueno, lo estamos intentando. Eh, la verdad que bien, contento por la victoria, que al final es lo que importa. El primer set sí que es cierto que estuvimos mucho más seguros y en el segundo, bueno, se nos complicó un poquito al final. Por tema de ustedes y también los chicos hicieron lo suyo, ¿verdad? Hombre, son dos contra dos, así que ellos juegan una barbaridad, Javi, los Javis, mejor dicho. Así que, bueno, contentos y mañana más. Now we turn to English. So, please tell us your se sensations, your feelings for this debut here in the Qatar Major. I am very happy for the victory, it's the most important. Uh, in the first set, we, we, will play, we played uh, really well, but in the second, uh, we have a, a, a nervous for, for close the, the, the match, and the, the, the opponent uh, will play 
so, sorry, to uh, really well. Um, we hope uh, tomorrow more on better. Now, Pincho, bueno, perdón, en español primero, contanos también tus sensaciones, que son siempre las primeras cosas que queremos saber en este debut. Arranca una segunda temporada de Premier Padel en español y en inglés, Pincho. Vale, pues nada, eh, muy contento de estar aquí jugando, la verdad es que es un placer jugar en este estadio, nunca habíamos jugado, el año pasado nos despedimos en segunda ronda y no conseguimos jugar aquí. Y la verdad es que muy contento, hemos hecho un partido muy serio, al final ha sido duro rom eh, terminar el partido, pero muy contentos y mañana intentaremos dar un pasito más. Ok, now we turn to English. <laughs> It is a pleasure to, to play here in, the, in, the, in this venue. Uh, tomorrow we, we will continue with a... Uh, no sé qué se dice racha. <laughs> It's, it's okay, you are so happy, we can, we can see that. Thank you so much, gracias chicos, nos vemos en segunda ronda, aquí la acción continúa. Of Spanish and English, we could tell there were a few nerves towards the end, but Pincho Fernandez and Jose Diestro got the job done. There are first winners on center court, 6-2, 6-4 against Javi Barajona and Javi Garcia. So the stage is set. The action is underway. Premier Paddle, the new season of Premier Paddle. Please don't go anywhere because we still have four matches for your enjoyment. And up next, the highest seeds in action today of Max Sanchez and his new partner, Lucas Campagnolo. So stay with us here on Premier Paddle.
Doha in Qatar, the first stop on the Premier Paddle calendar for 2023, the second season of Premier Paddle, the game-changing tour, and it's taking place at the Khalifa International Tennis and Squash Complex. This is day one of the main draw. It is round one, and we're about to introduce the players for match two. Beautiful setting. Just a couple of fluffy clouds in the sky as Mark Quiles and Tony Bueno get ready to face Maxi Sanchez and Lucas Campagnolo. Conditions are set fair. It's late afternoon. The sun is still high. Conditions are still very, very good in the 80s. Andy King, the voice of the MC. Two players who've known each other for a while, being led out by Marquiles, six foot three inches tall, followed by Tony Bueno. Coming in at five foot eight. First played together back in 2013 when Tony Bueno was the senior on the tour. Aquiles just started. El Toro, Lucas Campagnolo, and El Tiburon, Maximiliano Sanchez. To translate, it's the bull and the shark. Otherwise known as on the right, leading them out. Maxi Sanchez, former world number one, the shark, and his new partner the Brazilian Lucas Campagnolo together they make up the ninth seeds here in Doha the top eight have a bye to the second round very exciting new pairing Maxi Sanchez for so long with Lucho Capra we're now deciding to go forward with Lucas Campagnolo, who was with Javi Garrido for a the big part of last year. The fire for today's first round match is Martina Baldi. Now just a few minutes for the players to settle themselves. Ah, coaching task the of undoing the banana. The Interesting. Qatar major is Mr. Tarek Zainal. Also so First up, the housekeeping. Coin toss to take place. Electronically done. No clanking of a coin on the floor. It will appear on the big screen around the centre court. Once they can't leave the balls on court, they have to be off court at all time. There we go. Modern technology. What will it be? Star or Qatar? It is Qatar. Ooh, for a second match in a row, it's Qatar. Another five minute warm up will begin. It will give us a chance to get to know the players. They get 20 seconds between the points, 90 seconds at the change of end, two minutes at the end of a set. Best of three tie-break sets. Beautiful setting. world's fastest growing sport being played in some of the, the biggest stages sport stages and Mark Quiles 27 years of age now born and lives in Barcelona singles ranking of 52 he's an aggressive attacking player who started playing paddle at the tender age of just five he's alongside the 32 year old Tony Bueno 
also from Spain, also has a singles ranking of 52 and also was born and lives in Barcelona and started playing paddle just a year older than Mark Quiles at the age of six and that's because his father used to play the sport, did actually leave to play football for a few years but returned at the age of 16. They were playing together in 2022 and obviously decided that the partnership was one they wanted to continue and see through into 2023. Maxi Sanchez, former world number one, nickname of the shark, singles ranking of 17 from Villa Mercedes in Argentina, now lives in Madrid, 36 years of age, a three-time Masters champion, one of the very best the sport has seen. Now teaming up with Lucas Campagnolo. Campagnolo, an exciting player, 27 years of age from Brazil, singles ranking of 20, born in Porto Alegre, lives, well, has lived in Madrid for the last five years. Both of them turned out in Qatar last year. It was Pablo Lima for Maxi Sanchez. They reached the round of 16, and with Luis Campagnolo, it was Javi Garrido, and they reached the quarterfinals. It was a good pairing until Garrido left to play with Federico Cingotto. And then Campagnolo was just finding his feet and his right partner to move forward with. Three minutes. So the best of three tiebreak sets. You can see the flags fluttering. There is a breeze. Shielded within the cage. Hot conditions in the 80s. Humidity's not too high. Defending champions, as we see Martina Baldi in the chair. Paquita Navarra Martin De now as separate partners, but they were the first players to lift a Premier Paddle trophy. Video review team. Now it's Matteo Polimati in the chair. They were called into action once in match one of the five we have for you here on centre court. They have all, all the technology. If they can't decide between themselves out on court, it will go to the video review team. Two minutes. 56 pairs in the main draw, 44 in by ranking, and these two pairs well in on ranking. Sanchez and Campagnolo is the ninth seeded pairing, just missing out on a first round bye by one place. Quiles and Bueno, 27 in the rankings. And his best showing Luca Campagnolo with two quarterfinals at Premier Paddle level, Roland Garros and Doha. Going by the name of Maxi Sanchez, his best result at Premier Paddle level last year was a quarterfinal at Madrid P1. That's the Masters levels, so that's the level below the majors. But what a beautiful setting. Doha in Qatar. The hustle and bustle of the football world defended at, descended at the back end of Is last agenda, year. This match will be played to the best of three tower sets. Kiles Bueno won it all and elected to receive. Tennis has recently left these shores to make way for the best that paddle has to offer. The world's best play in the Premier Paddle League. It's a calendar of events that will cross the globe over the course of 2023. At a break after this, it'll be the Italy Time. Major in July. Madrid, Mendoza. Paris, New Giza, Mexico and Milan making up the calendar of events for Premier Paddle in 
So the players have got themselves set. Last few overheads to get a feel for the conditions for the balls. Sunglasses on. A must on a day like today. We are at the Qatar Major, the first stop in the Premier Paddle Tour for 2023 at the Khalifa International Tennis and Squash Complex. And the higher seeds will be in action today. Maxi Sanchez and Luca Campagnolo, the ninth seeds, up against Mark Quiles and Tony Bueno. Coachless Quiles and Bueno. Time. So we're all set, the best of three tie break sets you'll have heard announced from the chair. First round set. one match. Maximiliano Sanchez to serve. Ready? Play. Very quick fire already around the net. That's how they like to play Sanchez and Campagnolo. Not giving an inch at the net, are they? Sanchez and Campagnolo. Very hard to be dislodged. It's exactly what Quiles and Bueno have to do. Stand a chance in this contest. Legal play, the effective play. And the winning play for 40 love. Once again, look at that Sanchez positioning Campagnolo. of Sampa, Sanchez and First Campagnolo. Game. It's going to be very difficult for Quiles and Bueno to get anything from this contest if they're going to be kept that far back in the court. Taking photos to pop on social media to join us, Premier Paddle, Qatar Major. Thank you, let's do so. Fifty love. Mark Kiles has attracted the sport due to the social side of making friends. It's a sport that's played in pairs, only in pairs. It'll be interesting to see how this pairing of Campagnolo and Sanchez works. You'll see that Luca Campagnolo, the Brazilian, is playing on the right side. That's where he started with Javi Garrido last year. He moved to the backhand side, the left side, with John Sands from October of last year. But now you can see playing back on the on the right side. A different mindset from side to side. The players at the very top of their game can play on either side with ease. 
Very occasionally you get one that sticks to one side and that is it. Just let it drop a little bit too low, Sanchez. Yeah, power paying in the end for Campagnolo. Just snatched at it, Bueno. Interesting thing here, there is a big difference in their rankings, but Sanchez and Campagnolo are still a very new pairing, their first Premier Paddle event together. The season only recently started, so despite being very good individual players, it is about coming together as a team. They'll still be finding their feet in certain areas. Oh. Wonderful little dipping ball from Campagnolo. Yes. flew out of the cage in order to step in and get a little touch on that ball. Advantage Sanchez Campagnolo. Also had to make sure that none of him touched the net. Was just about to he multitask very well on that occasion. And they've got an early break point opportunity and a second serve to look at. What a great okay, start, and Campagnolo. that's what you get from Campagnolo. A lot of roaring, a lot of Le baring the teeth. And with it, an early break for the ninth seed in a two-love lead. Lucas Campagnolo to serve. It's been a busy start both on and off the court for Lucas Campagnolo. He got married last month to his long-term girlfriend, Eduarda. Great reflexes from Campagnolo. Just a lot too much from the flight of the ball from Sanchez. You'll find that with a lot of sports people that events like marriages take place in the, in the close season because then you know that your nearest and dearest will be able to attend your friends on the tour. And you also have a little bit of time. The cry of back. Fifteen on. Great weight of shot on in the Brazilian, 27 years of age.
Set up nicely. Set up really nicely for Quiles. 15-40. To go for the finish into the body of Sanchez and give them immediate opportunities to get the break back. Thirty forty. The tricky thing from Keeler's on the low balls is getting his 1 meter 92 frame down low enough. Hot. Still an opportunity to get the break back. Okay. Disappointed, you know, Campagnolo. No roar on this occasion because we are all Campagnolo. square through 10 Made minutes. A break apiece. The ninth seeds on serve 2 1. Si el trabajo está bien, a largo plazo, va a ir. Lo único que por ahí, si yo estoy trabajándolo bien y de repente los veo a ellos buscando un globo arriba que no está, lo que sea, por ahí alguna vez invertimos en, en ir en algo. ¿no? ¿Dale? Vale. ¿Sí? Pero estaba bien. Estaba bien. ¿Vamos? Bien campal. Bien intensidad. Bien, 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 bien. Vamos, papá. Eh? Vamos, eh. Singles ranking, Sanchez of 17 and Campagnolo at 20. Tony Bueno to serve. And a very exciting partnership in prospect, but can take time. Yeah. 50 love. Nice little Chiquita set up nicely because it did pop 15. up, but it only allowed Quiles to play a nice height ball to Sanchez, who could direct it towards the body of Bueno. Target practice towards the end of that point from Sanchez. But reminiscent of the very early stages of this match when they were able to pin Quiles and Bueno to the back of the cage. Well, they do that, it puts them in a very, very good position.
Oh, how okay. good was that? Sanchez Campaño. Sanchez really stepping up in that fourth game. So they regain the advantage with the break. That's four games played, three breaks in a row. And now they'll be looking off the serve of Maxi Sanchez to consolidate that break. Well read, good pick up from Campagnolo and wonderfully finished off by Tony Bueno. the court Lucas Campello but really brings that energy into the cage Do something different there, Tony Bueno, because they were so far back and trying to create the shift and move themselves forward. So points for the consolidation of the break and a 4-1 lead as we are zipping this first set, 17 minutes on the clock. We go. There's the roar, and there's the consolidation of the break. Four games to one. 17 minutes on the clock, and the ninth seeds lead with the break. Four games to one. Is it not going to serve it was his serve that was broken for the first time in the second game they are one four down but 
is just the one breaker serve. 15 up. Sanchez did very well there to get back into position. Forty fifty. It's just gone 4.30 in the afternoon local time. Conditions still very good. Sunny and 27 games. degrees. Bueno. Sanchez Campagnolo led by four games to two. Turn of the Brazilian now with the serve. and go straight into the side wall as it did then. It's too much power on at the end for the Brazilian. Now, Premier Padda are pleased to partner with the WHO Foundation. This month, we've all seen the impact that the devastating earthquakes in Turkey and Syria have had. The, the tragic toll currently stands at almost 50,000, with over 300,000 people displaced. Now, the region is in dire need of humanitarian aid, and the WHO Foundation are coordinating a number of organizations to this disaster through the Health Emergencies Alliance. They've set up a targeted fundraising campaign. If you'd like to donate to that, please visit earthquakeresponse.who.foundation. The help is very much needed and appreciated. Campagnolo did have a serve broken in the third game. Good serve, though, into the corner. Again, using that power. No disguising what he's shaping up to do, the Brazilian. Brings up game points for 5-2. read it. He cannot get to it in time due to the angle of the ball as it ricochets off the cage. Quiles has already sat down. It's a 5-2 lead for the ninth seeds of Maxi Sanchez and Lucas Campagnolo.
para tirar más globos, porque no, los chicos, yo no, yo sí, 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 no los veo, bien. yo no los veo que estén ni cómodos, Nadie, ni contentos. No, 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 no. Entonces, yo no se la damos, que de ahí es el gusto. Tu primer resto de Campa fue muy bueno, a mí toda la bola flotando acá, la toqué así. Sí, fue donde al tira. principio del partido, Campa hiciste una que le mantuviste, de acá le mantuviste a Mar, que te salió de puta madre. ¿Sí? Esa también la puedes usar. Acordate que si podemos no hacerle esto, uh, pero no, no por sistema de juego, sino por no, cambiar. Bien. Dale, ¿Sí? Campa, y... eh, bien, bien, todo eso tocadito, todo, porque después se viene de nuevo para arriba, estamos bien parados. Están jugando tan bien que si tengo que perder la ronda no pasa nada, porque están jugando bien, ¿me entendés? Entonces, no me pongo yo a sufrir porque no, pierdo la regla y me pongo a trabajar. ¿Dale? ¿Sí? 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 Vamos, bien, vamos, 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 sí, sí, vamos, vamos, vamos. Con la misma actitud, ¿eh? Muy bien, muy bien. Y con presencia, con presencia. Sí. No, no, eh. Vamos Háblense, a probar. eh. Háblense, eh. See if they can close out this first set. Out. Love 15. Thought you. See the way he dips the ball down, not leaving any height for his opponents to use Campagnolo. Just pushing those balls low to the feet. Two points from the first set. Fifty-thirty. That was that from Maxi Sanchez. 15, 14. Just shy of half an hour on court. Set points for the ninth seeds. And a second serve to look at off the Bueno serve. Oh, how about that for Lucas Campagnolo? Gets the job done. There's an apology to go with it, but that is the set the in set favor of the ninth Campagnolo. seeds. Six games to two. Confirmation, 6-2 in just under half an hour. The ninth seeds are up and running. Nearly do some damage with that final ball, hence the apology. Lo que nos 
Santiago Leter, the coach, thinking to his charges after a good first set, 6-2 on the board. Yo le digo a Campa que cuando volvemos no hagamos un paso porque nada que tiran cualquier pelotude, como el otro día en Abu Dhabi, que tiran cualquier cosa para arriba, que te mueve y te quita la no, red. No para mí hay que volear bien y esperar a ver si la podemos cas cascotear. Teniendo la fuerza de este para adelante, por más que no suba la bola, viene para adelante. Mantengamos mucha movilidad, Campa, ¿eh? Mucha movilidad. Vamos. <risa> Look out over Doha in Qatar. A few more clouds bubbling up as we head towards the end of the afternoon. But a good first set for the ninth set. Lot 30. You can see them targeting Kila and Bueno when they can. Lucas Campagnolo, the Brazilian. But Bueno will be annoyed with himself there because they played a very patient game. But they allow Sanchez and Campagnolo on the board in this second set. Now, it was the Campagnolo serve that was broken from the ninth seeded pairing in the first set. It was Sanchez who started the serving in the first set, but they've switched it. And it's the Brazilian. He was getting them underway, but still with work to do, going a little bit too close into that corner off the first serve. Nordered himself off the backhand wing, especially Sanchez. Just looking to go for the touch. Drops it into the net. Good early opportunities here for Quiles and Bueno. Out. 
30 40. Was right in the wheelhouse of Sanchez. Hence the slam on the net from Quiles. Traditional sportsman like on the warning, Mr. Quiles. And that's why he gets the warning. Just the frustration bubbling over. I mean, he's trying to argue that it wasn't out of frustration and that he was actually following through and going for the ball. Wanted to see the supervisor, but the chair wasn't budging. Saw what they saw. The ball was well away by the time the racket slammed into the net. The warning was handed out. Yolo. It's like a one man motivational team. And again, that's exactly what Sanchez wanted. Sanchez Campagnol. 15 40 down, a chance to close out the first game of the second set. He didn't Campagnolo. touch it. Campagnolo covered it Bocchetti just in Bocchetti. case. That's a good recovery from 15-40 down to take the first game, the opening game, first game the second set. Set. 24 matches in total being played today across five courts. Here at the Khalifa International Tennis and Squash Complex. Five of those 24 matches taking place on centre court. So the new balls being sliced against the side of the cage, as often happens. And there are your stats from the first set. First ball change is after nine games. Eight qualifiers in action today. Seven seeds and four wild cards among the 24 matches. Just hear the wind whipping itself around the stadium. As we head towards the end of the day, we do have the floodlights around the cage as the nights will go into the evening. You can see them on, burning bright. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lovely little touch there from Campagnolo. Allowed himself to come forward. The touch game was played even better by Quiles. And they have game points. It's wonderful how they've transformed the centre court from tennis into paddle. Game. He does well. One game on. Love. Sanchez was able to hold very comfortably through the first set. Turned professional back in 2006, Maxi Sanchez. Three-time Masters champion. Started at paddle age seven, but it was the age of 13 when he dedicated himself to the sport and made the move to Spain from Argentina. Great powers of recovery from Campagnolo and Sanchez, but surely they're not going to come through with the point. It would be a travesty if Quiles and Bueno hadn't been able to close that 30, out. 40. Not only do they win the point, but they have an opportunity. The first break point on the Sanchez serve in this match. Showed good resistance, Campagnolo and Sanchez. But ultimately, the cage playing its part. And there's the breaker serve. Felipe there's the shift in momentum. An interesting turnabout in this first round match. Second of the five matches on centre court. The break goes the way of the 27th seed, Mark Quiles and Tony Bueno. Who have the 2 1 lead in the second set. Ahora que vamos nosotros de este lado, tengámoslo en cuenta y juguemos, ¿sí? juguemos para que ellos sean los que tienen la, la incomodidad. ¿Estamos? ¿Sí? Tranqui, tranqui, tranqui que no pasa nada. Acá sí que los globos, chicos, sin más, ¿eh? ¡Bum! Largo, largo, se tiran largo. ¿eh? Cuando el globo se lo tiran pinchado a Mark y van.
बहुत Out. Just into the side of the cage. Just trying to scoop it up, play it delicately. Young children in the sport of paddle trying to bring the next generation through. 32 years of age now, Bueno. Done by Bueno. Slow into the feet and that little flick. Touch of disguise back to the ball. Oh, it took a while, but eventually they were able to break down the pair. Good resistance from Quiles and Bueno. Quiles showing his frustration once more, but some solid net play from Sampa, Sanchez and Campagnolo. Time's approaching five o'clock in the afternoon local time. Fake on the overhead, Bueno. Not working, and it's a break back point. Just couldn't stretch up enough. And that is how Lucas Campagnolo feels about breaking cool off. Of two all. Second season of Premier Paddle. It's wonderful to be back. A real game changer in the world of paddle. Taking the sport to new heights, to new people, to new fans. 
featuring the very, very best in the world. 44 pairs in by direct entry. Eight pairs have come through qualifying that's taken place over the course of the last two days, and then four wildcard pairings were awarded. A few body blows being handed out here, and a little massage there from Maxi Sanchez. She was the most appreciated of massages. Thought was there. That's a lovely change up of direction from Campagnolo, who's really getting a good cut on the ball. Exquisite little touch on Bueno. All that was needed. They regain the lead. Having been a break down, the ninth seeds are able to turn it around. It is though on serve. They have the edge with the 3 2 lead.
2015. Forty fifteen. Okay. Here is bueno. Pray again so. Fifty enough. Fourteen up. Let's for serve. Sanchez Campagnol. They buy four games to free. So just ahead with the edge, 4 3 on serve the ninth seed pairing of Maxi Sanchez and Lucas Campagnolo. Best of three tie break sets to decide the winner. Must win. The sun is getting lower in the sky as you head past five o'clock in the afternoon. Ten past five now, local time. Condition still good, still perfect. More and more spectators make their way into the stadium as they finish work and school for the day. Still plenty of action to come here on centre court. Following this, still three matches to be played and completed. Oh, an absolute bullet off the racket of Maxi Sanchez. Love 15. Great 
pickup though from Sanchez just to keep this point alive then immediately out of the cage and again you just have to get the ball back on your opponent's side of the court Fifteen on. Interesting choice to go back into the centre's corner when Campagnolo is out of position. <laughs> Wonderfully one point, good recovery. 15, 15. wasn't far off and he knew it he was looking for the Chiquita just a dip it down to the feet of Tony Bueno just a little scooped shot and he wasn't far off from making it great point 30, 40. for 5-3 and to serve for the match attack Mark Quiles. Just let the ball drop a little bit too low Sanchez. from a point for five through it's now a point for four all and to keep the second set very much in the balance still three matches to come following this good hold a very important hold that might turn out to be for Bueno and Quiles could have been a breakdown and up against it as things stand, it's four games all, business end of set two. Expect it, Sanchez. Didn't move the feet. Love 30. Trying to play through the middle, Campagnolo now up against it. Love 30. From having a point for 5 3, now, now Love 30 down at 4 all. Oof. 
effective. It's into the body and it gets them on the board in the ninth game. Look how close they were, up at the net, commanding the net, dominating the net. They're coming back from love 30 to 30 all. Great point. Four key 30. Game point, sorry. But just as valuable as a break point at this stage. Getting very tight at the business end of the second set. You can see that by the reaction of the Brazilian. Okay. Sanchez. It'll be a sigh of relief because they were love 30 down in that game. Sanchez and Campagnolo. Now they can put the pressure on their opponents. They keep that scoreboard lead 5-4 in the second set. It's taking photos of where they are, of who they're watching. Mark Quiles, the job of keeping himself and his partner in the match now, serving to stay in at 4-5. Love 15. That is not the start they wanted. As Sanchez and Campagnolo move to within three points of a place in the second round. Fifteen. Great coverage from Bueno, keeping Campagnolo pinned to the back of the cage, not allowing him to attack.
Oh! In the end from Kieles, just sticks out the racket, pats it into the net. Campagnolo and Sanchez closing in on victory. Huge point now. 4-5, 30 all, second set, first round of the Qatar Major, the first stop on the Premier Paddle Tour for 2023. <laughs> Lost control of it, Campagnolo. You saw it as he scooped it up. He knew where it was going. And a point for five all. Straightforward finish in the yeah. end for Mark Quiles, the 27-year-old. Five games on. in the afternoon local time. Day one of the main draw, 56 pair draw. Top eight with a bye into the second round. Sanchez and Campagnolo, the ninth seeds. Well held position wise from Bueno and Quiles. who dedicated himself fully to the sport at the age of 12, having first picked up the racket at the age of five. He's currently Let's world go. number 52. He's facing a serve at the world number 17, former world number one. Oh, it's a beautiful little flick. Not the first time we've oh, seen that from Tony Bueno. Able to swivel back to his ball and hit it low and on the angle. The last service game. They were also at love 30 on the Campagnolo serve. Here we are again, but on the Sanchez serve. shot in paddle the lob used to change position to regain the net as they do there but they find the oh, back of the court and Sanchez hangs his head love 40 on the Sanchez serve chance for Quiles and Bueno to break and serve to take us to a decider Game. 
What a turnaround. Quiles Bueno. 27 seed, Quiles and Bueno have broken for the opportunity to serve for the second set very shortly and to take us into a decider. The nine sets in trouble in this second set. In the second match of five on centre court on day one of the Qatar Major. To watch his colleagues in action, the sun starts to set, the floodlights come into their own. And Quiles and Bueno with an opportunity to take us into a deciding set against the ninth seeds. Maybe new shoes will make the difference for Maxi Sanchez. Juan Teo on the left, partnering up with Piquito Navarro. They played together at the back end of last year, continuing that partnership into this year. Makes up the third seeded pairing, so won't be in action until the second round. Law 15. Some great play from Tony Bueno in particular, oh, shifting the momentum and pushing Sanchez and Campagnolo back into an uncomfortable position. And now Quiles and Bueno are two points from the second set. Back smashes into the net from Mark Quiles. Offers up a break back point to take us into the tie break for the ninth seeds. Oh, not enough on it from Sanchez. Great power from Keelers down to the feet of the shark, and the break point is saved. Oh, 
Points after an hour and 20 minutes. Quieres bueno. Opportunity for the 27th seeded pairing to take us into a deciding set, a one set shootout in this first round match of the Qatar Major. They've got it. Quieres bueno. We're going the distance. 7-5. Seven seven For Mark Quiles and Tony Bueno. What a comeback from the 27th ranked pairing. Held the nerves, stayed patient. Great teamwork. And importantly, took their opportunities. They, got, they were able to close it out. And that means we will have a one-set shootout to decide who goes through to round two of the Qatar Major. Sobre todo, chicos, prestar atención a todas las cosas que están haciendo. Presten atención. Sí. Vamos un tipo acá, ¿eh? Vamos, hijo, vamos. Seguimos, vamos, seguimos. A todo lo que vos subís de, 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 de la tira de la Final set, Sánchez to serve. Keeping that momentum with them, Quiles and Bueno. Love 15. One set to decide who goes through to round two, and this would be a big scalp for Quiles and Bueno. Sanchez and Campagnolo, a new pairing. And this is the time to get into those new pairings. We're still trying to get that full understanding of each other within the cage. Love thirty. Out. Lot 40. Yeah. Giving himself a few extra seconds. They have 20 seconds between the points. Not a 
bad time for Campagnolo just to go out and use the towel. They've got to stop this run for Quiles and Bueno. Lovely little floated ball off the backhand side from Sanchez. Stepping up to rights and wrongs, Sanchez all over the net. Love 40 to Juice. Great pick up from Campagnolo, but the court is open. Cleverly, they go back behind into the open space, but still Campagnolo and Sanchez fight on. Too good in the end from Tony Bueno. Bueno. How important is this first game of the deciding set shaping up to be? Just pushing that final ball, not giving it the pace that would have ricocheted it off the back wall and onto the racket of Lucas Campagnolo. I think if they close out this game, you might hear a bit of a roar from the Brazilian, having been love 40 down and faced four break points. It's wonderfully played by Tony Bueno again yes. to draw the error off the racket of Sanchez. Let's go. 
What reflexes from Tony Bueno. Doesn't win the point, though. Still they play on, but now it does, and it's a fifth opportunity to get the break from Quiles and Bueno. Advantage. Quiles Bueno. Has a desired effect. Same as the break point. Absolutely enormous game at the beginning of this deciding set. Longest game of the match so far. Great coverage from Campagnolo because he left the side of the court open. Finally, he gets to put it away. And that reaction was for just winning the point, not even the game. But it's muted in the end from First Lucas Campagnolo. Just a puff of the cheeks as they get the job done. They come down from Love 40. They save five break points, and that is just for a holder serve in the first game of the deciding set. Law 15. Again, it just has to touch the opponent's side of the court. Some lovely little touches from Tony Bueno. Just cushioning that ball over, leaving an awful lot of work for, on that occasion, Lucas Campagnolo to do.
No one's able to take control of the net in this point. It's both exactly what they're both looking but he is able to finish off the point, Sanchez. Ball popped up at a very nice height for the finish. There it goes. Coach Santi Latere working with Maxi Sanchez and Lucas Campagnolo. Watching on. Hour and 36 on the match clock. Up to 6 o'clock in the evening. And still three matches to come after this. Just to show there's no hard feelings. It's a wonderful view of the movement of the four players around the court, constantly on their feet, constantly on high alert. Tony yeah, Bueno yeah. again. Bueno. Those low balls into the corner have done so much damage today. And it's a game of peace. Following this, we'll have the 10th seeds and Milan P1 finalist Lucas Bergamini and Victor Ruiz take into the court. Not backing down Kiles and Bueno. Singles ranking, they both hold of 52. Up against two players inside the world's top 20. Remain on serve a lot more comfortable on the Campagnolo serve than it was on the Sanchez serve, but it is the same result. We've played through three games of the deciding set, and it's 2 1 on serve to Sanchez and Campagnolo. Huh? 
porque están pasando Tony no tengo nada para mí. Además, escucha, además Tony, para mí, está jugando dos esas partidas en las que él tira, si sale bien, no, sale no, bien, entendi, si sale entendi, mal, sale mal. Escucha, entendió la pista, ¿no? Claro, y para y está claro que el flaco está tirando, si sale bien, sale bien, si sale mal, sale mal, pero le sale bien, ¿sí o no? Vamos a hacerlo jugar al Vamos a hacerlo jugar al otro. Vamos a jugar al Un partido ese en este lado. Vamos a jugar un partido ese así. Vamos a jugar un partido ese. ¿Vale? Y lo mismo, chicos. Yo antes hablamos de. Vamos a pagar, vamos a ir, vamos a ir. Yo los no estoy mirando de acá y todo muy ahí en el lugar. Hagan como que sí, pero de a más no de. Me voy moviendo. ¿Eh? Que canten lo contrario. Muévanse, lean. ¿no? Sí, sí, sí. Lean el globo. Tienen los globos. Con intención, con intensidad. Para mí eso está tocando mucha bola. Tony está jugando a una velocidad que a él le conviene. Claro. Y no nos deja meter. Sí. Quizás y si no hay que quiero el lobo, todo no armas acá. No quiere caminar. those making their way around the city with all eyes on the Khalifa International Tennis and Squash Complex where the first major of the year is taking place on the Premier Paddle calendar. 15. There's former partner Lucho Capra in action a little bit later here on centre court as part of the 11th seed pairing with Augustin Gutierrez. Lovely little dink there from Sanchez. They walked out in the daytime. They will finish in the night. No! That's your... no! Been so good through the overheads, Boina, but he could see, and you could see from the body language there, that he knew exactly what Campagnolo was going to do. Break point. Let's for serve. Got it all wrong, Kiles, the contact yes, point. Campagnolo. Divide three games to one. And that's the first break of the deciding set. It goes the way of the ninth seeds who break the Bueno serve for a 3 1 lead. Sanchez, though, had a tough time of it in the first game. Of this deciding set had to fend off five break points on his serve. I continue and I'll be looking for a more comfortable ride of it. In game number five. Now they have the break. He's been so good into the respective corners, Bueno. Love 15. 20 seconds between the points to get the serve away. 
And to get yourself back on your feet. Fashion slap from Sanchez. the spring and the step of the 36-year-old now Sanchez knows how important it is to consolidate this break. There it is, hole to 15, Sanchez is out of the cage. Much better body language from the ninth seeds. Contrast to the 27th seeded pairing. And it is Sanchez and Campagnolo with the break in this deciding set and the 4-1 lead. Yesterday. Wonderfully, it stayed away today with night having fallen. The hustle and bustle as people make their way back from work, possibly to the Khalifa International Tennis and Squash Complex to watch some top class paddle. Hustle and bustle of a city at night. Do a lot more in that point, Alexi <laughs> Sanchez. But just left a little bit too much for Campagnola to do to cover that far corner. Able to claim the net off the serve, and that's making all the difference for Quiles and Bueno. Because once they're there, they're able to attack and stay on the front foot, and it brings them to game points. Lovely skill. 
Ozzy from Bueno with a behind the back shot, and then from Keeler's just to skim that ball down the side of the cage. Job is not done yet, he's just the one breaker serve. Been on court for nearly two hours now. Would have been spectacular had it come off going through the legs for the hot dog. Didn't quite make it, Campagnolo. Twenty-seven years of age. Lucas Campagnolo stands at 1 meter 79, born in Porto Alegre in Brazil. Last few years, his home has been at Madrid. How good was that from Bueno and Quiles? Again, it's that all important net position, being aggressive on the front foot. Now opening up a love 30 on the Campagnolo serve. Snatch at it, Sanchez. Opportunity to get us back on serve in this deciding set. He's done it again, going low to the feet from Bueno. It's been so effective this afternoon and into the evening. And once again, back on serve. Deciding set of an absolute cracker of a first round match with the ninth seeds in a little spot of bother because the 27th pair will not go away. On serve, middling part, deciding set. <laughs> y no queda otra que tirar su lado. O sea, ahí no estaba delante de Marta. No, bueno, quiero decir que es verdad que a veces no es fácil no tirarle. No, sí, sí. Pero sí, ya está, ¿no? Y más ahora de este lado, ¿está? Más ahora de este lado. Vamos a hacer los dos. Vamos a salir. Sí, sí, campa, estamos perfectos. Vete, ¿eh? Vamos a salir haciendo porque es el lado que nos conviene. Dale. Sí, de este lado vamos a romper. Vamos. Sí, vamos. Vamos a romper. Sí, vamos. Vamos a romper. 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 Vamos a Acuérdense de tirar los globos largos, dale, tiren los globos largos y búsquenlo, búsquenlo ahí arriba, se si no equivocan, se si equivocan, se si equivocan. Eh, Marc, ahí le tiramos un globo y vos le subiste y sí. se la volviste bien. Sí, bien, bien. Y no quiere saber nada con que le des mucha la pelota, ¿eh? no quiere saber nada. Y si subís y se la tengo que bajar mismo, y si la bajo mismo, y si tengo el 7, vamos a hacer. Bien, 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 b
ahí hay polvo, aquí tú no nos fallas, ¿eh? o sea, ah, claro, ahí, claro. ahí queremos más, pero salió. Eh, y cuando te toque sacar, ¿Sí? tú vamos al saque, ¿eh? ¿Sí? Vamos, papá. Bit of a breeze now into the evening, and still anyone's contest this first round match. Cage coming to the rescue of Lucas Sanchez. Just need the little touch, he knew exactly he lays where I wanted it to go. Once more in this deciding set. Intriguing encounter between these two pairs. Two minutes shy of two hours on court. First round match. Highest seeds who are playing today, the ninth seeds. Not out of the woods yet. It is one meter 92 frame to great oh, effect. Slam away the ball, level us up. Four games, but well and truly business end of this deciding set. Best of three tie break sets. A little bit too close to the on that occasion, Tony Bueno, as it just dipped over. A little bit too close. Couldn't get the height that he was looking for. Fifteen And on that occasion, look at Maxi Sanchez. A little opening now for the pair who are 27 in the rankings. Oh, 
要求。40. Opportunity to serve the place in the second round and to defeat the ninth seeds. Sanchez had his serve broken for the only time in the third game of the second set. He gets broken here. Can it be Mark? Kiles, who steps up to serve for their place in the second round. Taking control here, Sanchez, you can hear him calling for it. Break point down the ninth seeds. What oh, good defense this is from Bueno and Quiles. Still calling for it, Sanchez. Oh, he's missed it. Maxi Sanchez into the back of the cage. And with that, the break was won. And very shortly, Mark Quiles and Tony Bueno will serve for the match and to defeat the ninth seeds. Angus eating, watching on. He's the fifth match, so I think he knows he's got a little bit of time to come. It's just the second of the five matches on the centre court today. A little touch of brain that draws Campagnolo and then sends him to the back of the court. Can use the video review if they're not sure. There's a lot of nodding going on for the Brazilian. Ladies and gentlemen, Kilas Bueno, I request the video review. That's what it's there for. Leaves you with no doubt after it is assessed and looked at on the many screens and the many monitors that the video review team have. What a big decision this could turn out to be. How important is that first point on serve? And is he going to go against the serve? But Tony Bueno has been doing that so well, the 32-year-old, just the little deft touches to draw Campagnolo in and then pushing him back to the back of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, the ball was in. 50 love. Goes the way of the server. Through 
Three points from the win. Playing the patient game, Keyless and Buena. They've got the net yeah. position, but Keyless dumps that overhead into the net. Opening fifteen thirty. It's the hardest hurdle to overcome when you're looking to close out the match. Could reach the first time from Sanchez, but then it just couldn't make it on the follow up. It's too good for Aquiles. Two points from the win and the upset. Break point, break back point. <laughs> that was a silent celebration Five from Lucas four. Campagnolo because would you believe when serving for the match and for the upset, they were broken off the keyless serve. No sound, just motion, and it's 5-all. Yellow serve was broken in the seventh game of this deciding set. So discussions to be had. Well, that will go to a tiebreak if need be. Using the angles, using the depth, finding the corners of the court. The court that's 25% smaller than a standard tennis court, measuring 20 metres long by 10 metres wide.
Paul Tilo. Very, very comfortable hold for the ninth seed to swing the momentum in their favour. Because very shortly, shortly despite being on serve, they lost the question of Quiles and Bueno, who will be serving to stay in the match. Should they hold in this first round, encounter will be decided with the tie break. Para adelante y te quedas tranquilo, vale. y te quedas tranquilo, ¿está bien? Escucha, y vos sobre todo, mostrátele mucho, mostrátele mucho, ¿sí? Incluso mirá, escuchá esto, hace el esfuerzo de mostrarte hacia el centro. Y vos, si, yo, si logramos conectar un globo a mar, o otro globo a mar, con el segundo, lo que hice con camino. assessment before confirmation whether or not I'll take a medical time now. It's three minutes will be taken. I can go in the, in the toilet, right? You certainly can. Toilet break for Lucas Campagnolo. Three minutes should be enough time as we get this wonderful aerial view of the Khalifa International. Ladies Tennis and gentlemen, Tony Bueno is now receiving a medical timeout. You can see the courts in action. Five today being used. Premier Paddle Qatar Major. Those practicing, those playing. by night captured the world's imagination during the football world cup at the back end of last year welcomed hundreds and thousands of visitors to its shores it's the first of the four majors on the premier paddle calendar eight events to be held this year four at major level four at p level all the level below at some of the, the biggest venues in world sport. Once again, they'll be at the Foro Italico in Rome at Roland Garros, playing on Philippe Chatrier. Premier Paddle that's really taken Paddle to the next level. Something that's appreciated by both the players and fans alike. very important you can see the Lucas Campagnolo to keep himself loose and to keep standing you don't want to sit down for too long they've got themselves in a very good position for being a breakdown on the verge of going out the ninth seeds They're able to turn it round and the scoreboard lead a little look at how things are to this point and Keyless and Wayne if they don't come through this they'll be ruining the opportunities that they have had in this third set all other numbers are pretty level. It's just the opportunities that the 27th seeded pairing have had. The third pairing may have thought that they'd be walking out in daylight. 6.30 almost in the evening local time. Still three matches to start and complete, and the second match to finish. 
¿Cómo? Bien, bien canta, entrando con la bolilla de cabello, apretando, eso. Bien, bien, muy bien, bien. Incluso se puede jugar en medio. Time. The left thigh has been tended to of Mark Bueno. Confirmation that there are new balls. We are on serve. They did have the opportunity to close us out. That must be put behind them as Tony Bueno looks to take us into a deciding set tie break. Fifteen love. Too much power on that. The racket of the shark. Former world number one. 15 on. How they would dearly love to get the job done here. Sides looking for the opportunity, Antonio looking to take that opportunity, which he does, he draws the error and they take the point. 30-15. The game of patience played out during that point. A little bit of discomfort. Have the treatment to that left thigh. He's done an awful lot of leaping and reaching and changing of direction. Looking for the Chiquita to finish off, doesn't find it, Sanchez, and it's been pointed for the deciding set tie break and for this match to remain anyone Oh, it's a lovely angle. Such an acute angle found Sanchez. Four key touches. To cut them all short and to the side. Oh. 
He read it, he went out there, he got it back in, slammed it into the back of the leg of Tony Bueno and he keeps this game alive and they are two points, the ninth seeds, from progressing to round two. Not the first time he's done that in this contest, Sanchez. Oh, so close. Advantage. But it is game Gilles point. Bueno. Bueno, you're not comfortable with whatever's bothering him on that left leg. But they're a point now from the tie break. Coming up to two and a half hours on the match clock. Left a Game nice little well. gap for Bueno to exploit. You can see he's not walking that comfortably at the moment. But we are into the tiebreak to decide who goes through to round two after nearly two and a half hours of paddle. Maxi Sanchez, the ninth seeded pairing, to go first in this tiebreak with the first point. There's one zero. The first point. It goes Sanchez. with the serve. Every point so precious at this stage after two and a half hours of access, and there are points, and there's prize money on the line. And they are game changing points the deep you go. Yep, Sanchez saying, I'll deal with that. Mini break. 2-0. Sanchez Campagnolo. Sanchez Still with the mini break. Now a couple of serves for the Brazilian world number 20 in singles. Despite not playing some matches, they have an individual ranking and then they have a team ranking. There is the mini break given back. <laughs> the luck of the net going the key lesson, bueno. And it's now a mini break in favour of the 27th ranked pair. Sanchez knew exactly what he wanted to do with that. Keeps us level. Six points. Three points apiece. After six points, the players can change, and Sanchez just confirmed that he can get his towel. Interested observers, nearly two and a half hours of action now. This just the second match of the five that we have for you on centre court today. Four or three. Qui les bueno.
Paul. Nearly was able to get something on in Sanchez, but wonderful reflexes. Bye -bye. From West Bueno combination. Tony Bueno has been so sharp today. And the advantage is theirs at 5 4. Six five. Kiel as well. Easily dealt with. And an opportunity for the upset. They had the opportunity to serve for it in the main set. Now after two and a half hours, a match point. Once again, they'll change ends. How he stretch out that leg again, Tony Bueno. Match point come and gone. Six points apiece. Capagnolo with the serve. And now the tables have turned and it's match point for the ninth Sanchez seed. Campagnolo. Finding it tricky now, Tony Bueno. Just trying to nurse his way through. Might be match point for the ninth seeds, but it's on the serve of Quiles and Bueno. Bueno with the ball, match point for the ninth seeds. And a second serve to look at. It took nearly two and a half hours. What a test for the ninth seeds, but they make their way through. That was a bruising encounter, some top class stuff. But it is the ninth seeds. There is no upset on this occasion. But Maxi Sanchez and Lucas Campagnolo, the ninth seeds, who look relieved more than anything to have booked their place in round. They are a new partnership. They are still getting used to each other on the court to get the job done against Mark Quiles and Tony Bueno in three sets, six, two, five, seven, seven, six. Antonio and our winners, Lucas Campagnolo and Maximiliano Sanchez. It's Andy King, the MC, saying that very shortly we'll be hearing from the winners in conversation with Barbara. And then there'll be Fairly quick turnaround for match three. How relieved did they look at the end? Sanchez and Campagnolo. It'll be interesting to hear their thoughts as they speak courtside to Barbara Vitantonio. Oh, the Confirmation there. Two hours, 29 minutes. 6 2, 5 7, 7 6. And now they can smile for the camera. The job is done. Still plenty more work to do. First hurdle has been navigated. 
And a few of the numbers from the match that we've just seen. Look at the opportunities for Quiles and Bueno. They'll be ruining not taking more of those. So close between both teams. And there really wasn't much in it, but it was Sanchez and Campagnolo who were able to get themselves over line 7-6 in the third. So let's get their thoughts. They're speaking with Barbara Vitantonio. Really tough to see the pain that and dis that, that Tony Bueno finds himself in. You could see how much he was struggling. He had that medical timeout. Marlez sitting with his partner on court to check that he's fine. But let's hear from Barbara Vita Antonio speaking with your winners: Maxi Sanchez, Lucas Campagnolo. Ahora sí, ya estoy con los ganadores de este partidazo. Esperamos ante todo que Tony Bueno se recupere y que esté mejor físicamente. Gracias a los cuatro por este partido. Y bienvenidos a la segunda ronda, Maxi Sánchez y Lucas Campañolo. Es una pareja que se está conformando y están haciendo sus primeros pasos. Por eso, Maxi, primero te hago una pregunta genérica o general, hablando de esta pareja, de cómo fue la pretemporada y de cuáles son los objetivos para este año. ¿Cómo estás? Bueno, hola Barbie, hola a todos. Doha, Qatar, gracias por recibirnos un año más. Bueno, contestando a tu pregunta, eh, trabajamos muy bien durante cuatro semanas con Campa, es, es un jugador que me gusta tener al lado, se parece a mí mucho en la forma de trabajar y en la forma de luchar, eh, lo considero un grandísimo jugador, creo que lo puedo ayudar a crecer. Eh, hoy Tony y Mark hicieron un grandísimo partido, nosotros por momentos no encontrábamos... Eh, Cómo, cómo conseguir jugadas para desbordarlos. La pista está difícil, digamos, más que nada por el viento, un poco el aire, molesta. Pero nada, contento de ir trabajando con Campa, eh, dando pasito a pasito para, para conseguir un rendimiento más alto de esta pareja. Creo que, que podemos luchar por todo, así que estoy súper feliz. Just a few words in English now. We are talking about this couple. It's just uh, started, of course, the season, Premier Padel season. And the preseason, it was very good. And Maxi is so glad to play with Lucas Campagnolo because they are talking about, they are very similar in, in the Padel um, Way, I can say. Ok, volvemos al español. Lucas, hablaba Maxi justamente del partido muy bueno que hicieron los rivales. Ustedes también hicieron lo suyo, lo pudieron ganar. Es siempre difícil el debut y salir adelante. Contanos cuál fue la clave, qué puntos te gustaron más de este partido. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy cansado. Eh, llegó un punto en que con Maxi nos miramos y dijimos, bueno, vamos a dejar de, de hablar de táctica y vamos a luchar, vamos a correr detrás de la pelota. Yo creo que esa pareja va a ser conocida por, por tener esa esencia y yo creo que esa ha sido nuestra llave. Ellos han sacado 5-4 en el tercer set. Nosotros veníamos a restar justo en el lado que no hicimos ningún break todo el partido. Y bueno, es lo que te dije, esa pareja va a pelear hasta la última bola y yo creo que vamos a ser conocidos así. Now, could you please do a summary about this match? How are you? <laughs> I'm really tired. Tony and, and Mark made a really good match. Congrats to them. I hope Tony be well soon. Uh, about the match, it was really difficult. Um, we received uh, five for in the third set and the only thing that we we saw uh, we we talked uh, with our coach it was we never go down and i think this was the key for 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 our couple and we will be know it uh, for this we will always fight 
and we are knowing each other. It's our first uh, tournament, and tomorrow we will try to continue improve our game, and let's see what we can do. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias, chicos. Nos vemos en la siguiente ronda y como siempre continuamos con más acción aquí desde la pista central. Thank you so much to Vita Antonio and to Maxi Sanchez, to Lucas Campagnolo. The ninth seeds are through to the second round. Night has fallen in Doha and Qatar, but the action keeps coming the Premier Paddle because very shortly the third of the five matches that we have for you will be on court. Confirmation, Sanchez and Campagnolo through six in the third and very shortly. Tensies will be taking to the center court here at the Qatar Major. All in, and we're just two is it five that we have for you for centre court today. What a day it's been already. First match just over an hour, the second match nearly two and a half hours. Conditions have cooled, the lights are on, and very shortly the Milan runners up. Lucas Gamini and Victor Ruiz take on Augustine Salingo and Juan Martin Diaz. And the king is the voice you can hear. The lights are low. The stage is set, and very shortly, the players will be welcomed out onto centre court.
In the tunnel, the first pair you see are Augustine Salingo on the left and Juan Diego on the right. Please welcome the teams for today's next first round match. From Spain and Argentina, the legend Juan Martin Diaz and Augustine Salingo. The legend Juan Diaz, a former world number one, sitting at 91 in the singles right now. He is the Spanish of the two. The Argentinian leads the match in Augustine Salingo. What a combination. So much experience within this pairing, but they've only come together in the twilight of their and careers. Ten seeds at this year's Uri du Qatar Major from Brazil and Spain. Luca Bergamini and Victor Ruiz. They are the ten seeds, the pairing of Bergamini and Ruiz. It'll be Ruiz that leads out the two Bergamini with the baseball cap on. To the left is Ruiz, the right is Bergamini. They became partners in May 2022 and they scalped some seeds on their way to the final of the Milan P1, the last event of the Premier Paddle calendar in 2022. It could be an interesting affair. You have so much experience to the left of the chair and then this really exciting pairing on the right. Victor Ruiz having the season of his career last year. Salingo and Diaz, what can this partnership produce? And here for tonight's digital coin toss from sponsor Aspatar. Please welcome Dr. Fazi Bendemara. Digital coin toss. No clunking of a coin on the court surface. A button will be pressed, the screen will be shown, you can see it spinning in the top right hand corner there. It'll be Star or Qatar. Three balls that will be in play. The first change will be after nine games. And we have just a news, so you don't have to have the ball in the corner, so you can take the, you can the ball to the ball. Just the housekeeping, Qatar, housekeeping Qatar, run Qatar, through. Qatar, start for you guys. Everyone's gone for Qatar so far, and the previous two matches, it has landed on Qatar. Here we go. Star or Qatar? We might need to press it again. Here it goes. goes. What will it be? Star or Qatar? There we go. Three from three Qatar today. Big smiles all round. Do their paces to fix what's wrong. I know that Djokovic are a regular at the Aspatar Clinic and Harry Kane during the recent World Cup and Karim Benzema before he left the French squad. Now let's get to know the players on the show for this third match of five. Luca Bergamini, Brazil, 25 years of age, stands at 1 meter 65, a singles ranking of 21 known for his absolutely fantastic touch and alongside him a man known for his aerial ability Victor Ruiz 33 years of age 1 meter 79 from Spain 19 when it comes to singles semi-final in Niza P1 last year and then the final the Milan P1 a really strong end to the season so no surprise when they said that they would be playing 2023 together What can we say about this pair? 39-year-old Augustine Salingo from Argentina stands at 1 meter 86, and 22, nickname of the B. Started playing age four, moved to Spain in 2000 to play on the professional tour and still playing at such a high level. He's part of the eighth 
team with this man, rightly called a legend, Juan Diaz, 47 years of age, 1 meter 84, from Spain, 91 in the ranking, former world number one. He won 100 finals from 190 played between 2002 and 2015. Was the number one pairing along my Fernando Balastigan for 13 consecutive years. He's had an astonishing quiet and Diaz is rightly called a legend. And he said that he is starting for sure when it comes to 2023. Then I'll see. And I think we can afford that after the years he's been playing on the Be a tricky test against Bergen and Ruiz. Found each other in May 2022. As Giuseppe Iacobucci watches on. And they've really grown Bergen and Ruiz. You heard about the video reviews. Two video reviews per set. Andrea Benvenuto in the chair for this one. They are the screens. Gentleman alongside him that will bring up what he needs to see. Very useful tool to have. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. In case you didn't hear, that's three minutes. Five minute warm up in total. Good, good. They do cool down in the desert at night. It's still a lot warmer than a lot of the places where a lot of the people are tuning in. 23 degrees currently in Doha. A jumper needed. Best of three tiebreak sets. Top eight come in in the second round. 24 matches were on today's order of play. All the qualifiers involved. Ball change after 9 and 11. Playing on it was 25% smaller than the standard tennis court. See the perspex all around, 3 metres high, 4 metres at the end. Points are one more with strategy than strength and power, but there is a place for power in the world of paddle. Two minutes. Andy King is your master of ceremonies here now introducing the players to the crowd. It is non-stop paddle for the course of the week. We've already had two Ladies days of it. Ladies and gentlemen, this match will be played the best of three tiebreak sets. Bergamini, who is the one that also chose to receive. Thirty seconds. And a warm up. Mm -hmm. 
overhead. Warm up. Warm up. Evening crowd are in and certain some with popcorn. Living for the day one of the first ten just four open. Looking the game in front, yes. Time. So Bergamini and Ruiz won the toss. They decided to put their opponents into serve. Yes, serve. Already. Play. It will be the 47 year old with the serve. Hot. Second serve. You're looking for that space, you're looking to split the pair, so often it's through the middle, but well covered by Bergamini and Ruiz. As they regain the net position. Fifteen left. Thirty yard. It's going to be very important for Salingo and Diaz to try and keep that net position, as it is for both pairings. They've got the experience, but. To hold that position, step forward and try and close out these points. Because look at the movement of Bergamini and Ruiz to this point. Thirty on. Seven o'clock in the evening, just got seven minutes past seven local time. The start of the third of the five matches that we have for you on Centre Court. Another full day's play for you tomorrow. The top eight seeds 
come into the competition at the second round stage. Ruiz and Bergamini working really hard to be the tenth seeds here. Oh, a little luck from Diaz at the end. Able to find that angle into the side of the cage and save the early break opportunity. down advantage Diaz sitting just look to settle themselves in the respective pair at the early stages of this contest Gave it a good go, he just wasn't quite fast enough, and he is pretty fast. And there's a holder serve, first game, first set. First game. Coaches are allowed at any stage. Victor Ruiz to serve. And then at official changes, the conversations can take place. Fifty love. Let's first serve. Clever tactic. Keep them back, play the short ball, draw them in. Clean hold off the racket of the 33rd V. He plays a fast and aggressive style of paddle, which we saw there.
La Fettini. It's a great understanding between Bergamini and Ruiz, you know, exactly where the other is. And it really came to the fore, the back end of last year, what people started to notice about the two, this understanding that they have with each other. Fifteen thirty. Able though on that occasion, Augustine Silingo to split the pair. Still got a high singles rank, individual ranking, Silingo of 22. Very good friends, Diaz and Silingo. Been on the tour together for many, many years. But it's a break 30, point opportunity 40. for the tenth seeds. And there's the breakthrough from the 10th seeds in the early stages, just Bergamini putting too Ruiz much to pressure on Silingo and Diaz. And they get the opening in the first set with the 2 1 lead. Fernando Balastegui on the left there, the former partner of Juan Diaz, and another legend of the game. Balastegui going out with Sanyo Gutierrez for the 2023 season. Love 15. After Arturo Cuello linked up with Augustine Tapia, the former partner of Sanyo Gutierrez. Oh, left him a lot to do. Augustine Salingo. 15 on. Did a good job of getting there. <laughs> 
30-15. That's the touch we were talking about. Bergamini just got such soft hands. A bit of a miss hit from Ruiz, the shot before. Just wasn't deep enough, came up to a, a good height for Salingo. Fault. The best time to break back is immediately, and that's the opportunity that Sergio and Diaz have got themselves now. We are back on serve. Two games on. Well played. Aggressive stuff from Diaz and Salingo. Taking their opportunities, coming forward, putting the pressure on and not letting Bergamini and Ruiz set into this match. So 15 minutes played, all square. Four games played, a break of pace, two games all. Just put it up at a little bit of an awkward height. It was a no pace ball. Fifteen all. Very hard. Thirty fifteen. Fifteen.
game. Diaz Slingo. It's a little bit too far back in the court when he hit that overhead. Diaz Slingo leads three games to two. And from being ahead in the very first game, they were then pegged back with a break, but they have got themselves level. They've got themselves ahead on the scoreboard and they lead by three games to two in the early stages of this first set. No, pero más que nada cuando toma atrás tenemos que apurarnos, tenemos que pensarlos primero. Que, nos, que, se, que se quede en mitad de pista y ahí entramos. Vamos tú saque. Ahí estamos, eh. Vamos, dale, 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 vamos. Hay que seguir de pata, eh. Que siga. Todo, todo rato movimiento, va. Time. Interested observers. Maybe it's the first time they've seen Paddle live. Maybe they played it with friends or family, but now they're seeing the very best in the business go at it. The beauty of Premier Paddle is bringing it to a whole new audience. 15 love. Just that little touch keeps the ball in play. Balls they're using are like tennis balls, just slightly less pressure in them. <laughs> Wonderful reactions from Salingo. And eventually it's Diaz that gets the ball into the corner and pass to Ruiz. 15 all. Some lovely exchanges between these four. Oh, how close was Salingo to going into the net and voiding the point? Time. 20 seconds between the points, which is why you are hearing time being called. They're asking them a lot of questions. Ruiz and Bergamini trying to find the answers and the way through. Thirty fifteen now. I see what he was trying to do. The ass. Just find that angle and slap ball, but straight into the sun wall. Fault. Great point when you think that Diaz spent a couple of points of it on his back on the court. But lovely placement and great depth and weight of shot from, from Diaz Ticula.
one's got the net. No one is close. No one able to. Lovely half volley from Salingo. He gets the ball into the side of the court from Victor Ruiz. Who cannot believe it. And it is break point for Lingo and Diaz. Just relentless pressure, power from the experienced duo. Little bit of a mix up between Ruiz and Bergamini. They've got to gather themselves. They are break point down, but great play stretching the pair Deus. and saving the break point. Stop. Very deep off that serve. First serve. All decided between the four of them. Fault. No need for the video review system that is there should they wish to use it to video reviews per set per pair. You had to keep your wits about you in that point. All sorts going Advantage, on. Diaz Silingo. Using all parts of the cage. Second break point opportunity for the 18th ranked pair. 44 pairs in by right on ranking. Oh, wonderful yeah. hat trick yeah. of shots yeah. from Augustine Salingo to win that point for the pair and yeah. with it Salingo the break to give them the advantage and a 4 2 lead. Augustine Salingo had his serve broken in the third game of this first set. Now the opportunity to consolidate a break of serve. First half. Fifteen love. Muscling their way through this first set, Salingo and Diaz using a healthy experience along with it. Fifteen all. Just gone seven thirty in the evening in Doha. Twenty three degrees, the outside temperature.
Oh, they set it up nicely, really, really nicely for Salingo to be able 13, to finish 15. it off, cutting the pair through the middle. Clever, clever paddle from Salingo and Diaz, as you'd expect. Many surprise it took them this long to come together. But here they are in the twilights of their respective careers, age 39 and 47, teaming up for the 2023 season. And as Diaz said, he'll start for sure and then he'll see. Thirteen consecutive years as the number one pairing with Fernando Belastigin for Juan Diaz. Thirty on. Oh, 40, 30. Just. Exactly where he wanted that to go. Foul on a game point for the consolidation of the break and a 5-2 lead. Game. Excellently played. He found an angle. Such a angle from Augustine Salingo. Both men playing their part. They have themselves yes, a new lead in the first set. Games to two. Clever change up by Ruiz going for the soft touch. Wonderful reach from Diaz. Lost his team. A racket out, lunged at it, but it was enough. That little flick from behind the back. 47 years of age, still playing at such a high level. And asking questions of the 10th seeds. Oh, the drop shot was exquisite from Bergamini. Good ball to the feet. 
It's going to be very difficult to get the pick up off that when you're going so low to the toes of your opponent. They want to ask the question of Salingo and Diaz, and to do that, they must hold serve here. I think Rio Victor Ruiz will have a look at that. Shaped up for the smash and almost in two minds as to whether to go for power or touch. The result was the side of the cage and Salingo and Diaz are two points from the set. When he got himself out of the cage, he just got the ball back on the wrong side of the court. There's a lot you've got to think about once you're getting out of the cage. Remember, it's just the one bounce allowed, so you've got to get yourself around the ball, sort of wrap yourself around. The question will be asked of Augustine Salingo and Juan Diaz. Diaz Salingo leads five games to three. It is just the one breaker serve, but an opportunity now. And it's Juan Diaz to serve to take the first set. Let for serve. Let for serve. Oh, it's an excellent point and won by it's in the end. They held, they had to cover a lot of the court. But again, that dipping ball, the forehand of Reese. The Spaniard just couldn't up and over and they are three points from the set. Looking to take control of the net position. You see move as a wave as one and Slavin Diaz are up at the net, push back and so Ruiz and Bergamini can move forward. Accident motion, but another overhead for Ruiz into the net. And two points now needed. Time. Second time that time has been called when it's been Ruiz and Bergamini in discussion going over the 20 seconds allotted should work to the server's rhythm, the server's pace. Looking to bring up points. What defence from Salingo. They are trying to grind him down, but it is Salingo who comes out on top. Again and again, he got the ball back in play. Set points 
for Salingo and Diaz. Enjoying themselves out there. Very good friends playing together. Diaz was just a bystander in that last point. Set points. Diaz with the serve. 39 minutes on the clock. Caught. Caught bounce directly into that side mesh off the serve. Play it safe through the middle. Oh, 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 that's an absolute delight from Augustine Salingo. And that is the first set in the bag for the 18th ranked team by six games to three. Go in Diaz. And take it against the 10th seeds. Still a long way to go, but what a start for the experienced duo. They get themselves on the board with the first set. Six games to three. No juega incómodo porque todas le dan un segundo rebote. En la pared de costado, espera y te tira el, el planchado para arriba. Ajá, no le da, no le... No tiene ese... ese, ese no, apuro. no le queda para jugar por abajo. O sea, le queda para hacer lo que quiere. No tiene el apuro de jugar por abajo. para arriba que pues los, cascote, los cascoteamos con una conexión de volea y el solo hecho de hacer ping no, tengo que jugar sin miedo que le pegue Second set, Victor with himself. First set, but plenty of work needed. And here's Luca Bergamini. Fifteen love. Again, he finds that angle. Not a lot you can do when it's that acute into the side of the cage. I think it's exactly what Bergamini was thinking. How has he found that again? He's found it again because he was number one for 13 consecutive years. Former world number one, Juan Diaz. Thirty, 
Pots. Forty fifteen. To Ruiz to get themselves on the board at the start of the Thirteen, second, set. second set. Day one of the main draw of Premier Paddle. A few numbers for you to look through from the first set that was won by Salingo and Diaz. Premier Paddle, the first event on the calendar. Eight events in total. Four majors, four P1 events. And Premier Paddle delighted to be partnering with the WHO Foundation this month. We've all seen the impact that the devastating earthquakes have had in Turkey and Syria. The tragic toll Thoughts. currently stands at almost 50,000 with over 300,000 people displaced. Now the region is in dire need of humanitarian aid and the WHO Foundation are coordinating a number of organizations to this disaster through the Health Emergencies Alliance and have set up a targeted fundraising campaign. If you would wish to donate 15. to this, then please visit earthquakeresponse.who.foundation. Fort. Fifteen on. Thirty fifteen now. Exactly what he was looking for, Augustine Silingo. 40, 30. Lovely placed. It's the spot they look One for to split all. the pair between the middle, keep the ball low, keep it deep. Great weight of shot. Game one. One game all second set. Wow. 
the reflex is needed by all four. Have to stay alert, cannot switch off. Using the mesh to perfection at the side of the cage. 15. Had a few partners in 2022, Juan Diaz, among them Augustine Gutierrez, Alex Orojo, Miguel Benitez, but just felt he didn't connect with them. Oh, the cage coming to the rescue of Salingo and Diaz. 15 13. Got a little opening. Early stages, second set. Frustration clear to see on the face of Victor Ruiz. knew where he was going, you knew exactly where Diaz was going, and there was the ball for Salingo to put away, and they are the break points. Thirty forty. Second set to look at for Augustine Salingo, still a break point to the good. trying to give Diaz and Salingo any pace to work with, leaving them to create their own. Advantage, Bergami Ruiz. Nickname of the beast. Able to use his physicality, Augustine Salingo. To snap that ball down and out of the court. Oh. Oh, he had to be sharp, but again he was. Does he leave the cage? Does he stay in it? He must not touch the net. He didn't. Advantage. And another opportunity Salingo. now for Diaz and Salingo to break. This is their third break point opportunity of this third game of the second set, leading as they do by set to love. Bravo! 
Juice. Bergamini Ruiz. Oh, there we go, Game. says the Brazilian. I've had enough of that. They save three break points. Bergamini they hold the serve. We remain on serve early stages of the second set. It is 2 1 in favour of the 10th seats, but it is the 18th ranked pair who lead by set to love. Y ahí vos caminas un poquito más. Y si yo puedo caminar junto. Que, que el volumen vaya hacia Agustín y sí. menos hacia Juan, sobre todo con la salida. Pero el tema es que está, está tocando un bola Agustín y no estamos haciendo nada. Ya, pero tengo que bola, generar algo. Agustín vive sin peso y no es fácil. Por eso, tenemos que generar algo, porque si dejamos él tocando bola así, se va a quedar hasta no, mañana. Yo, yo voy a esperar a que cuando haga un poco de gaste 4 o 5, una ya la Eso ya. es, pero subí. Sí, sí, subí, sí. porque de ahí. Este set lo va a aguantar. Lo tengo, lo tengo clarísimo, sí. Escucha lo único. Ahora Aparte sí que te tira ahí y te queda atrás. Vale. Ahora mi caso, cuando Juan le quede salida, amaga subirle, amaga dar, pero más veces queda atrás que súbete, ¿vale? Por fin. Que no, escucha, haya, que no haya portería. Escucha, dale con fe al centro. La de derecha si te juega ahí. Tapale tú. La que Juan juega al medio de bajar de pared. Estate atento para ver si puedes taparla por lo menos tú. Porque yo la puedo zafar atrás, pero te puedo venir para adelante como loco, ¿entendés? Claro, pero es que si me miro ahí al medio, me dejo la No, no, no te tires al centro, no, o sea, no como loco. Pero, a ver si la puedes catar alguna, ¿sabes? Que te tire por ahí, porque va, me la va a jugar lejos, ¿sabes? Vamos, ¿Vamos aquí. Escucha, rompemos aquí, ¿eh? Hola, coaches. Years for people to throw, but they know it, they have it, they know what they have to do. And Bergamini and Ruiz were really with a coach from the paddle last year. It was last stage of the new Pisa, who worked with the Spanish national coach for a few matches. Law 15. Very guttural roar from the Brazilian Luca Bergamini. Just gone eight o'clock in the evening, Tuesday night in Doha. Temperature still in the early 20s, bit of a nip in the air as you get in the desert. Law 30. Bergamini and Ruiz looking to make their move in this second set. Seems they move to love 40. Golden opportunity here now. The Brazilian Spanish combination. So just get their noses ahead and just get a little bit of daylight in this second set. The longer you feel this contest progresses, the more you feel it will swing towards the 10th seeds. good they break to love Bergamini really impressive Ruiz. game Ruiz. from Bergamini and Ruiz to move 3-1 ahead with the break in the second
Cleve Tilla. Got the bit between their teeth now. Need to put the foot on the gas. Consolidate this break. Get some proper daylight between themselves and Salingo and Diaz. Fifteen on. Beautiful little shot. Saw how it was floated into the corner on the angle. Oh, the deftest of touches from the Brazilian. 14-15. Perfect time to play it with Diaz so far deep in the court. Well played by the Brazilian. Bergamini Ruiz leads. Four games, 2-1. That's a consolidation of the second set break they were looking for. Just to give themselves a little bit of breathing space. And have that advantage. In the second set, they must win with Salingo and Diaz having taken the first set by six games to three. Time. Great set. They must win. Take this to a decider. Was brave there, Augustine Salingo. We knew it was coming, Salingo. Just a lap, and it had been spotted. Oh. 
Three balls in play. The balls that aren't being used mustn't stay on the court. They can't be rolled up at the net. They have to be completely away from the court because they could be a danger as the players charge out of the court. Ball change after nine and then 11 games. Game. Diaz Cilindro. Keep it just the one breaker serve. Bergamini Ruiz leads four games to two. Fifteen love. Gap was well spotted by Salingo. Just knew if he could thread it to the left of Bergamini. Be the chance. Bergamini's whole family were there for the final in Milan. Semi final final. They both sat in the same seats. Very emotional, he said, to have them there. Their first Four, Premier two, Paddle final. A big moment for the pair as a team. Came together in May of last year. Oh, the skills off the backhand, the off backhand play by Salingo to get the curl and the cut under that ball. Exquisite shot. Just over the head of Bergamini. <laughs> Diaz then yes. just taking over, but I think he knew that his partner had it in hand. And from what looked like it was going to be a comfortable hold for Diaz and for Ruiz and Bergamini, Diaz and Salingo have pinned them back to Juice, looking to get the break back in the second set. Well played from Ruiz. Advantage, Huge Ruiz. cut at that ball off hand and side. Bergamini. Late on reaction to that Juan Diaz. Enough power used by Bergamini and they Bergamini keep their lead. Five They've moved to 5 2 and they're now a game away from taking us to a decider in this third of five matches that we have for you on one of the main draw of the Qatar Major Premier Paddle.
Time. 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 Plenty of action still to come your way. This is just on per day. By the end of today, 24 matches will have been completed mixture of seeds, wild cards, qualifiers, all taking to the courts. Fifteen love. Luca Bergamini, whose brother brought him into the sport of paddle and coached him until he moved to Spain in 2017. He said his dream was to become a professional paddle player and live in Spain. He now lives in Madrid and he is very much a professional. Oh, the reflexes there of Diaz. He's all his forearm power. They slow the pace of this point down again, playing the bandeca. Using the lob to shift momentum. Both teams biding their time. Well played in the end by Victor Ruiz down to the feet of Juan Diaz. Hour and 13 on the match clock, third Box. of the five matches we have for you on centre court. Targeting Juan Diaz a little bit more now, getting that ball deep into the corner, making him move forwards and backwards and really testing Diaz. Thirty forty. Set point to Bergamini and Ruiz, the tenth seeds.
Oh, what a little dink in a pickup. Juice. What a way to save set point. Reese thought he'd done enough, but look at that. How does Salingo get the control and keep it in and ultimately win the point and save set point? Advantage, Bergami Ruiz. Drew the error off a few no pace balls. Set point opportunity, but two. Wasn't to be this time from behind the back from Juan Diaz, and there is the point, there is the game, and there is the set for the 10th seed. So it is into a one set shooter, a deciding set. We go on center court for the second time today, this being our third of five matches. What a fight back from the 10th seed pairing and last year's Milan P1 finalists of Luca Bergamini and Victor Ruiz. One set, two decide who'll take their place in the second round of the Qatar Major as Bergamini of Ruiz break for 6 2 in the second set. <laughs> La que me bloqueó antes, yo la tiré muy bien, ¿eh? Muy bien. O sea, le tiré en el hombro derecho aquí, ¿no? La bloqueó así, ¿no? La bloqueó así, ¿no? O sea, aquí. Yo me quedé filmando ahí. Todo tremendo. Vamos. Vamos. Escucha. Acá, ¿eh? Nosotros mandamos, ¿eh? Capitalized on their opportunities in the Bergamini and Ruiz, upping things when it came to the winners, reducing things when it came to the unforced errors, which is why we find ourselves in a third and deciding set. These matches played out of the best of three tie break sets. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Setting down a marker at the start of the third, third set, set. tenth seeds.
15 look. Just was able to cause Bergamini a few problems with how acute the angle was, just cutting it sideways. As nifty as the Brazilian is on his feet, there's just a little bit too much room to do. Fault. Hesitation from Salingo, just put the pair on the back foot. The first of eight events in 2023 on the Premier Paddle calendar. It's into four majors and four P1 events. If you're more used to tennis, that's effectively the four Grand Slams and then four at Masters level. And that's reflected with the points and the prize money that is to be won. Wonderful pickup from Bergamini off his shoelaces. These are some bruising points. Some swerve on the ball, some cut of the ball, Ruiz didn't get enough on it. Then didn't do enough with the smash. Ruiz lays into that one. Diaz gets the ball back. Oh, what play for the bingo! 30-15. There's not an easy point to be won at the moment. Look at this. Thunders it down. The weight of shot and knocks Victor Ruiz off feet. 56 pairs at the start of the tournament. We've just had two days of qualifying. This is the first time their matches have been played on the inter court. What a flick off the backhand side on the stretch from Salingo. Really good hold. Lingo and Diaz with Ruiz and Bergamini looking to carry on that momentum from taking the second set and bring it into the decider. It was a brute of a point that Salingo and Diaz were able to come out on top of. Stood them in good stead to close out this game. And it's one game all deciding set. Still two matches to come. We've got the 11th seeded pairing. It's a new pairing for this year of Luciano Capra and Augustin Gutierrez, the 11th seeds. They'll be up next. Then we've got the 13th seeds, Mike Yangas and his partner, his new partner, Alejandro Arroyo. And they'll be last on to complete the five matches level. on centre court on day one. More action for you tomorrow. There'll be four matches on the centre court tomorrow. The action starting at 3.30 local time. It's 12.30 GMT to cover where everyone is tuning in from. Bergamini read, oh, he read it, but then you heard the no, no, no from Victor Ruiz. He knew it wasn't going high enough. He knew it was coming back into the cage. 
But the damage was done. Bergamini was out. You have to make that split second decision. You cannot delay. for Salingo and Diaz to get themselves into a situation to have break points. They couldn't convert any of the break points they had in the second set. Advantage, Bergamini Ruiz. For 15 40 down. Turning this to their advantage, just using the time to get the towel. Opportunity for the hold. Game, Bergamini Ruiz. New balls, please. What a holder serve Bergamini for the tenth seed. And what two, opportunities. One. They didn't take five opportunities that they had, Diaz and Salinga, which is pretty much why you saw Diaz and that reaction there. Didn't take opportunities in the second set. And they've just had two slip by in the early stages of the third. But the hand slap between the two, they reset themselves. We remain on serve 2 1 in favour of the tenth seeds. Experience of Augustine Salingo and Juan Diaz in your picture, 39 and 47 years of age, respectively. Diaz, a true legend of the game, still playing at the top level. And then this partnership, this exciting partnership of Bergamini and Ruiz that came together nearly a year ago and has taken them deep in two of the premier paddle events, New really balls. hitting their stride at the back end of last year. Fifteen love. It's 
a good thing about using the Chiquiti. Or there. Yes, your opponent can get to, but all they can do is pop the ball up because it comes down at that awkward just below net height. And then you're able to draw the error with the follow-up. Delicate little angle 30, found by Deer. 15. Ruiz is being out smashed okay, by Augustine Salingo this evening. That's not always the case. Known for his aerial ability, Ruiz just hasn't been able to get the measure of these overheads and Salingo there just to sweep up. Game. Delicate yes, little shot that you need to play to great effect, and that's a hold. And it's two games all. Two games all. Final set played at the best of three tiebreak sets. If you're new to paddle, familiar with tennis, it follows the tennis scoring system. The difference is 20 seconds between the points, not 25. The surf underarm. I can hit the ball off the walls as long as it's bounced in the court first. It cannot bounce straight into the side as you saw there off the serve. And they can hit it outside of the cage, but again, just the one bounce of the ball. Oh, oh, oh knife that ball off the backhand side, Diaz. Love 15. Fifteen on. That's what he's been looking for, Victor 30, Ruiz. 15. Had his best season last year in 2022. We're looking to better that. First serve. Oh, oh, oh. Just rolled along the top of the net. Dribbling over. Look how tight Salingo and DS are to the net, and that made all the difference. 30 on. Through game changing points and prize money on offer through Premier Paddle, a prize pot of over half a million euros at a major Oops. event, slightly less at the P1, and 2,000 points for the Link Parent, again, slightly less for the P1 level. Game Bergamini Ruiz. Could turn out to be a very important hold for the ten seeds. Bergamini Ruiz leads three games to two. We remain on serve. Just a two break points to speak of through the five games. That was on the Bergamini serve in the third game. But as you heard their confirmation, we remain on serve. Middling part of the deciding set, 3-2 in favour of the 10th seeds.
nos conviene dejar botar de atrás para adelante, si la tenemos abajo, ¿vale? Porque Juan cierra mucho la red y, y si linga rápido acá con él. Si tiramos abajo nos bloquean. No pausa. Si la tenemos arriba, entramos con todo. Si vamos a tope, que aquí de salida me queda más cómoda de salida yo a ver. Está bien, escucha. Va. Juega con el amago, ¿vale? Va. Si empiezan a quedarse, le pegas. Se hace mucho daño, ellos tienen que correr mucho aquí. Si el globo una tercera o cuarta es bueno, yo me voy a tirar para adelante un animal, ¿eh? Eso, otra cosa. No le achicamos a Juan por el revés, ¿vale? Pues, escucha, puedes achicar por el medio si quieres para mí, ¿eh? ¿Viste una que ganaste? Que achicaste por el centro. Ahí la puedes jugar, ¿eh? Porque ver, la juegas de, tú la juegas de locos y la bola vuelve a la Tremendo. Víctor, quiero este. I think we can see the front yes. Seven now. Hit the serve. The drag is 91. And he has been used to be so many years on the floor. Fifty left. Still with two matches to play on centre court following the completion of this, but we do have tomorrow's order of play with 3.30 p.m. local start. That's 12.30 GMT, where the top eight seeds come into the competition. And on centre court, we will see the new pairing, very good friends, Franco Stupajoke and Martin Dineno, second seeds up first. Then Francisco Navarro, Paquita Navarro, Juan Teo will follow them. And then Alejandro Galán and Juan Lebron, the world number one pairing, will be taken to the court for Fernando Balastigan, the former partner of Juan Diaz, and his new partner, Sanya Gutierrez, round off the action. We'll bring you all that centre court commentary from 12.30 GMT, 3.30 local time tomorrow. Fifteen thirty. It's the opening that Ruiz and Bergamini have been looking for. Still to have a break in this deciding set. Just leaning backwards into that overhead, didn't have the feet in the right position. Breakpoint opportunities for Bergamini and Ruiz, their first breakpoint opportunities of this deciding set. Oh, lovely disguise from Juan Diaz with the overhead. 30, 40. Pulled back on the power, but he also changed direction. Hot. It's 
So both pairings have had two break points apiece in this deciding set. Sixth game. Advantage, Bergamini Ruiz. If in doubt, go for power, bludgeoning yes. the pair off court in that point to save the third break point opportunity. Got a great weight of shot, which you saw there from the man nicknamed the Beast in Augustine Salingo. Oh, the touch from Diaz. Uh, advantage. Just Diaz scooping up Salingo. under the ball. An opportunity to keep us on serve. Oh, no, for the Deuce. second time in this game. The overhead off the same side, that left-hand side from Salingo. Just didn't move his feet. And the opportunity to close out the game for now has gone. Very happy-looking Victor Ruiz, I know they escaped one there. Advantage, Diaz, Silingo. Perfect smash. Back wall, side wall, out of the cage. Great resisting from Diaz because he was totally out of position. Had to go back behind himself. Oof. Diaz. No hard feelings, but there might be a bit of a bruise there tomorrow. The importance of this game, game number six, the deciding set, growing with every single point. Now three break point opportunities for Bergamini and Ruiz. Handful of game points for Salingo and Diaz. Advantage, Diaz, Salingo. Giving them any pace, playing the patient game, getting themselves forward. But from Deuce. Salingo, cannot believe it. There's too much on that. It's into the back wall, and the game continues. Got to get it done within the 20 seconds you have between points. And Salingo cannot believe it. You look back at this game, those two overheads into the net, and then pushing the ball into the back wall. Got him an element of tiredness creeping in after an hour and 45 minutes. Yo, oh, beautifully placed from Victor Ruiz. Advantage, Bergamini Ruiz. And they have a fourth break point opportunity.
time. This might be the most important chat they've had. He's out. He's read it. He's got it. He's picked it up. How did he pick that up? No! What a way to finish off the point. The breakdown of communication between Salingo and Diaz. What a special point to finish off what is going to turn out to be a very important game from outside the cage to the pickup to the finish for Ruiz, splitting the pair through the middle. The 10th seeds get the break. Special stuff. 40 they lead. First serve. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Thirty fifteen. Can't be afraid to give away those cheap points at a stage like this. Looking for the consolidation here, they'll take them a game away from the second round. There we go. Down and out from Salingo. It's going to be the result. If you leave them that short and that high, the Argentinian will finish them off. Lovely change of direction then through the legs from Diaz. And Ruiz finally seems to be warming up with these overheads. Round of applause from a very appreciative yes. crowd at what they're seeing. It's still in the hunt to get the immediate break back.
Advantage, Bergamini Ruiz. A point for a 5 2 lead and to put them a game away from the second round of the Qatar Major taking place in Doha. They weren't a team, Victor and Ruiz and Lucas Bergamini. When this event took place last year, the first event ever to be played under the Premier Paddle Balland banner. Dios. Looking for the drop shot there, Bergamini, looking to be a little bit too cute. Great placement Advantage for Bergamini. Bergamini Ruiz. Point for that 5 2 lead in the deciding set. It's what they were looking for to get the consolidation to give themselves a little bit of daylight and put them in a very healthy position because they know that very shortly Salingo and Diaz will be coming out to serve to stay in the Qatar Major. 5-2 they lead the 10th seeds in the deciding set. Time. Law 15. Nine o'clock local time in Doha. As we head towards the end of the third match of the five that we have for you, five minutes shy of two hours on court. Mr. Ruiz has requested video review. Straight to the video, so I'm just going to check it out. Why not? I have the challenges, haven't been used so far. It's very quick in his decision to go to the video review. The 
after nearly two hours on court in this first round match. The next team's waiting in the wings. As the clock ticks past nine o'clock in the evening on day one of the main draw. All eyes staring up at the chair. They will hear first the conclusion of the video review. You see exactly what the video review team are seeing. As to whether the ball was good or not. Ladies and gentlemen, the ball was out. There's the confirmation. It was out. Love 30. Worth having a check. Why the video review is there? 15 on. Swingo so and Deer saying, well, hang on a second. It was 15 on. Won't want to make it easy. 30, make 15. It tough for Ruiz and Bergamini to close this out. Thirty on. Two points from the win now. The tenth seeds. The land finally. The Seaflis in in New Giza. Fault. Both P1 events. Building up this partnership very very nicely. Game point. 40, 30. Still work to be done. Still early stages of the season for all of these players. There have been tournaments to this point. The first at this level, the Premier Paddle level. Still shaking off some rust and some cobwebs, getting used to new partners. There'll be certain things they've been working on in the pre-season that took place through January and a little bit of the back end of December. Game. Trying to be a little bit too Pierre cute, Cilindro. Ruiz, into the side cage. Bergamini he was forced Ruiz into that. You saw tight. Juan, this was to the net. Had to make the angle short, couldn't quite make it. They will now ask the question of the 10th seeds who are serving for their place in round two. Law 15. Fifteen on. Really loose arm 30, for Victor Ruiz as he swings up and through that overhead. And after two hours exactly of match play, it is match points for the 10th seeds to book their place in the second round. But not just yet. 
Good put away. 40, 30. From Juan Diaz. Game. Great Set recovery match. after a Benjamin wonderful Lewis. shot down the line two set to one. Three, from Juan six, Diaz. Six, two, six, three. But it's Victor Ruiz and Luca Bergamini that come through in three tight sets. What a contest this third match of the five to be played was. The experience of Augustine Salingo and Juan Diaz who more than played their part. But it's this 10th seeded pairing that started to shine on the Premier Paddle circuit at the back end of last year, who've come through to book their place in round two. And they did it with a three-set, two-hour, one-minute victory, 3-6, three, 6-2, six, 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 A very short, a short as you heard from Andy King in the background, we will be hearing from the winners. They'll be speaking to Barbara Courtside. We'll take a look at a few stats before then. Still two matches to come, so stay with us. I'll be handing over to Barry Cowan for the final two matches of the five that we have for you today. Back with you tomorrow at 12.30 DMT, 3.30 local time, when the top eight seeds enter the action. Relief! Victor Ruiz and Luca Bergamini, nearly a year together and doing some really good things they combine really well on the court with the touch of Bergamini, the aerial ability of Ruiz, who plays a very aggressive game style. Works together very, very well. I think Victor Ruiz is ready to do his interview. Ready to have a chat with Barbara. He says, I'm ready, let's go. Rackets in hand. You can see Barbara there. We'll go into them very shortly after the match. Stats and a breakdown. There were the opportunities for Salingo and Diaz. They had them in the second set. They could not capitalize on. They had two in the third. And it enabled Ruiz and Bergamini to pull away and also take more of their opportunities that were handed to them. Two hours and one minute. 6 3 in the third to Lucas Bergamini and Victor Ruiz, the 10th seeds who are through to round two of the Qatar Major, an event they didn't play together because they weren't together this time last year. But here they are for you, speaking your third winners of the third match on Santa Court in conversation with Barbara Vitantonio. Sí. Thank you, Andy. Thank you so much. Estoy con los ganadores de este lindo partido que nos regalaron otra vez los cuatro. Felicitaciones, Víctor Ruiz y Lucas Bergamini, que ya están en la segunda ronda de este primer Major de la temporada aquí en Qatar. Voy a empezar con el español, después voy a traducir algo en inglés y después paso a Lucas, que también algunas palabras en inglés nos va a decir. Víctor, felicitaciones por este partido. Recuerdo cuando se estaba terminando la temporada, el año pasado, que decías, qué lástima, que estamos terminando porque la verdad es que estaban encontrando lindas sensaciones y esta es como una continuidad de esta, de esta temporada. ¿Cómo andás? ¿Qué tal, Bárbara? Bueno, pues nada, eh, la verdad que veníamos el año pasado en un nivel muy alto, creo que era, eh, yo creo que estábamos jugando el mejor par que podíamos hacer juntos y la verdad que pues queremos seguir con esa racha, hemos tenido un pequeño parón y estamos un poquito dudosos todavía de nosotros mismos, pero bueno, Hoy hemos sacado un partido muy, muy importante, ¿vale? que hemos empezado jugando un poquito peor, no sabíamos realmente qué tipo de juego hacer y nada, cogiendo confianza poco a poco para poder conseguir ese nivel. ¿Eso de no saber qué tipo de juego hacer es debido a los rivales o porque ustedes todavía estaban encontrándose con esta pista? Bueno, yo creo que es un conjunto de todo. Eh, creo que el pádel cambia mucho de jugar por el día que a jugar por la noche y al principio, sobre todo, yo estaba tanteando un poco la pista si podía pegarle o no podía pegarle. Y llega un momento que he dicho, no le pego ninguna más, ya me pongo a, a remar. Y bueno, al final ha sido el juego que nos ha dado un poquito el partido. Ok, we just turned to English. We were talking about the last season because they were playing very well. So it's a really good start for them because 
Juan Martín Díaz and Agustín Gómez Silingo. They are really a good couple. Lucas, paso al español de nuevo. Contanos también tus primeras sensaciones de debutar aquí en este Major de Qatar. Y además, quiero que nos cuentes algo de ese punto cuando se pusieron 4 a 2, tu recuperación de la bola allá afuera y después Víctor que hizo lo suyo con ese rebote y nos digas algo más de cómo se sintieron adentro de la cancha. ¿Cómo estás? Bueno, eh, primeramente, felicitar a Juan y Agus, partido muy duro. Juan parece que juega siempre en las mismas condiciones, indoor, eh, la toca perfecta, entonces al principio era muy difícil aguantarle eh, sus tiros. Nos fuimos acomodando, eh, conseguimos sacar el segundo set y nada, el tercer set de esa bola, la verdad que la salida por tres la hago bastante bien. Entonces, eh, por suerte me salió ahí en la puerta y la pudimos recuperar y fue la bola de break. Eh, muy contento por la victoria. Ok, now we turn to English again. Can you do a summary or tell me your feelings about this match? Uh, one more time uh, in Doha, amazing, amazing tournament, amazing city, amazing hospitality. Uh, happy to the match. Uh, tomorrow, one more step. And thank you all for the, for the, ¿cómo se dice? Por el support. <risa> Muchas gracias, chicos. Nos vemos en la siguiente ronda. Continuamos porque, como siempre, hay más acción aquí en la pista central de este Doha Major de Premier Padel. Thank you very much to Barbara and to your winners of the third match on centre court, Lucas Bergamini and Victor Ruiz. Confirmation, two hours and one minute coming through 6-3 in the third against Augustine Salingo and Juan Diaz. Thank you so much for your company today, but stay with us. Still two more matches on the order of play for centre court before we complete day one of the first event of Premier Battle in 2023. So stay with us as there is plenty more to come.
Well, welcome back to Doha. It is the opening day here at the Khalifa International Tennis and Squash Complex Premier Paddle. And after the success of 2022, we are back for more. The major here in Doha, it's where it all began last year. Play continues. We've had three matches. We've got another couple on the centre court. And coming up, it is the battle of Argentina, the 11th seed, Luciano Capra and Agustin Gutierrez against Salva Oria and Jose Rico from Spain. And now, and seeded Spaniards. From Spain, Salva Oria and Jose Rico. A good introduction. I hope that they can put in some performance. Gutierrez has played with Rico last year. They were a partnership at times, but they are on the opposition this evening. It's great Argentina. to have your company. I'm Barry Cowan. Thank you to Gigi Salmon and Luciano Capra. And now it's the turn of the 11th seeds. Gutierrez there on the right, Capra. Twenty-nine-year-old lives in Madrid, home of Paddle. Twenty-four matches on the order of play. It's been a very busy day at the Doha Major. play we will see the top eight seeds they have had buys today they can watch everyone else battle it out hats off to the organizers to turn this venue around after the tennis they had the WTA event a couple of weeks ago the ATP event last week which was won by Daniel Medvedev so in a couple of days they've turned it around now we have Paddle showcasing their skills. Egyptian umpire. Just a new thing, we will not leave a ball under the net. We yeah, have two, 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 okay. two balls yeah. in it, Perfect. and we both sides. Any okay. question? No. So, we're gonna throw the toss. Just we'll press here. And now, here we go. Tonight's digital, digital coin, coin toss. toss. Uh -huh. Take a look at the video boards. What will it be? Star or Qatar? It is Qatar. I believe that's four of four today for Qatar. You Qatar. Now, Let's see. Going again. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 They certainly have a, a great friendship, Oria and Rico, they're best friends. They are teaming up to start 2023.
Well, there is the 29-year-old. Born in Quilmes, lives in Madrid. And his partner, 24 years of age. And a real bright talent. Does Gutierrez 2022 was his best year on the paddle tour. And he did change partner. Talked about having to adapt, playing with a right hander, so maybe that's why he's back playing with a right hander. Salva Oria, 26 years of age, is Oria. And this for Rico. Born in 1995, so a little bit more experience. Both of them, Oria and Rico, are born in Valencia, so they will hope that they can struck their stuff this evening here in Doha. Just to wrap what we've had for you so far on the centre court of the pins for Antonio De Fernandez and Jose Antonio Drew on 6-2, 6-4. A bit of an epic, the second match of the day. Maximiliano Sanchez and Lucas Campagnolo winning 7-6 in the third. Ahmed Nader, the a buyer. The third match on the centre court, Lucas Bergamini. As we just saw, there's our uh, review official, Matteo Polimati. Just confirmation, Bergamini and Victor Ruiz, the finalist in Milan at the end of last year. They recovered from losing the opening set, 3-6, to win 6-2. 6-3 so we are nearly underway it's a sport that's really did prosper last year in terms of premier paddle that's where it began here in Doha last year interesting look back to what we witnessed three over minutes. a year ago. Navarro and Dineno, they were victorious against LeBron and Gallan in the final 6-3, 7-6. Last year, it was Capra and Ruiz. They made the quarterfinals. They lost to Chingotto and Teo. We know how players do like to switch their partners. Two minutes. Today we've uh, had five courts. Matches everywhere here at the Khalifa International Tennis Centre. Introduction. Very, very popular here now in Doha. It's the sport. More courts popping up everywhere. Last year, 
Andy Taylor, our master of ceremonies, just going through with the players, introducing them. One minute. Last year. In Rome, in Paris. And of course, at the end of the year in Mexico, which is where this sport began nineteen sixty nine was when the sport was invented These two nationalities, Argentina and Spain, they are the ones that have dominated. They continue to dominate last year. Khalifa International Tennis and Squash Complex, fourth match, first round action. Kepra and Gutierrez against Aurea and Rico. Time. Delighted to have your company, Barry Cowan, in the commentary box. It's all really prospered last year. We expect some more great paddle, not just this evening, but also as 2023 moves around the, the Premier Paddle to different countries. First set with race to set. So Gutierrez, a 24-year-old from Argentina, from San Luis, to begin. Nice finish there from Rico. Love 50. Gutierrez, who uh, uh, spent time at the Juan Carlos Ferro Tennis Academy. Initially, it was football before he started the paddle, age 12. Love 30. That's a confident finish. At least at one time, lose their serve in the open. Working for position. As soon as that lob went over Aurea and Rico's head, uh, clear what they were trying to do, get forward. Forty thirty.
couldn't quite get there. Caprac with three. Aurea. Uh, good recovery from Love 30 to win that opening game. 525 euros, 25,000 euros, the total prize money. Be good to serve. Fifteen love. Fifteen on. In terms of the rankings, the lowest ranked player, Aurea at 69, Rico at 38. Oh, just missed that. The highest ranked player is the left hander, Capra, at 15. And his partner, Gutierrez, is at 32. Oh, beautifully old. placed there from Capra. Yeah, at the end of last year, Capra played with Sanchez as he did for the majority of 2022. Juice. Vintage, Oria Rico. Such a skillful lob from Gutierrez. Game, Oriarico. One game all. Uh, well played, the Spaniards. Capra to serve. Law 15. Oh, it's a great dig. Playing for position.
And eventually, they're able to finish off that point. Lot circle. Crowd appreciating the skill and for the second service. At the start of, they find themselves Lovett, Capra, and Gutierrez. Old. Lost in the quarterfinals. Capra and Sanchez in Milan, the last event. Uh, Ruiz and Bergamini. Thirty all. Oh, what a boost this will be if they can re recover from two love thirties. That's the shot you always want. there from Rico to his good mate and partner Terrific. Just getting pumped as well. And you can totally understand that. Advantage Oriarico. Another break point. Second of the game. Just wonder mentally how important this will be if they don't break then. Advantage Capra with us. Wow, it's full blooded. Cabrak with it. And Gutierrez leads by helped two out his one. partner. That's a very competitive start, this one. But Oria and Rico, who had the two break points, didn't break. The 11 seeds. Opening set, lead 2 1. 
otra cosa, sabe que lo estás haciendo muy bien. Cuando estás tú en volea y bandeja tirándote hacia Justin, ¿vale? Que le estás enganchando bien esta, de vez en cuando cambiar el ritmo a lento, ¿sabes? Que hago pam pam, le gusta ir hacia adelante. Si ves que te cierra bien esta, ¿vale? Alguna lenta por el cuerpo, ¿vale? Y luego las dos últimas que has hecho de que le puedes entrar, no hace falta que entremos a la primera a volearla. Podemos tener ahora. un poco más calma porque le vas manejando y has querido llegar a la primera y no tienes tanta ventaja para meterte ahí. Sigue trabajándole caminando pasitos hacia adelante, ¿me explico? Lo que te iba a decir ahora es que la estás tocando de locos y escucha, él ahora, él ha sido dicho, él ahora ha empezado tirándonos largo y le hemos tapado dos y le hemos ganado el punto. ¿Qué está haciendo ahora? Cuando tú entras, la para tac, para. y te la pone por no delante. Llegamos. Si la agarra un poco recta, sale. Sí, sí. ¿Está bien? Eh, sí, muy sólidos, eh. Vale, eh. Law 50. Holds. Fifteen all. Situated at the bottom of the the top half, Capra and Gutierrez, the other seeds in their little section. Some dick. Fast and furious. Brilliant finish from Capra. He did prepare that they're due to play in round three. Is Bella and Sanyo Gutierrez. Such a crafty player, Capra. Juice. It will be interesting if it is uh, Augustin Gutierrez against Sanyo. Of course, uh, Sanyo. Augustin's uncle.
advantage, Oria Rico. Aurora Delight. No, he didn't. Uh, this oh, has yeah, been yeah. an impressive opening four games, four games from all. all four men. Highly competitive, as we expected, given the sort of battle. Gutierrez, who played with Rico last year, the friendship of, of Aurea and Rico playing together now at 2023. Oh, they're opening two service games. They've recovered from love 30. So the fact that they are leading a welcome relief. Hold. to have that one back with Salva Aurea. Ah, it's a bit of an error. Game, Capra Quitre. Leads by three games to two. A third service hold. Yeah, the error before was sort of a half. Back deck off. off the Bora. Para entrar de revés, que la intentas que vaya a la vez, sí. que lo has intentado, te está esperando a Agus con su mejor golpe ahí, o al medio, o búscale incluso hacia su rebote de derecha. Pero te está esperando con el revés ahí cuando intentas llegar con la bola de revés. Y la cima la estás apretando, pero te la, te la cierra. Si Intenta se a... buscarle alguna. No es mala, para mí no es mala. ¿Cuál? Lo único, la de la reja no es mala, para mí. Pone. Para mí sí, pero pasa una cosa, me saca a mí con esta. Claro, Entonces, es que si lo está esperando entrar, ahí. Entrale con fe como estás entrando, porque tampoco está tocando tan bien. Tampoco la está tocando tan bien. Y si no, alguna, por el centro. Exacto, eso. El y lo mismo, lo mismo, cuando estás con tu bandeja a veces que intentas ir por ahí también, te está esperando ahí. De vez en cuando, cámbiala a la derecha. Escucha. La que le cambié de revés. Nada de loco le sale para arriba. No, está ah, muy bien. Voy a matar. Ya, te digo, le voy a cambiar. Eh, seguimos me trabajando. Aquí, voy a matar. Eh, seguimos trabajando los hueco, con él, ¿eh? José, le juego al hueco. Salveta, le salveta, José. Le juego al hueco, José. Sí. Y le sale para arriba. No, no, terrible, salveta. terrible. Vamos ahora, ¿eh? Os quiero muy duros de cabeza, peleando todas, ¿eh? Vamos, okay. vamos, ¿eh? De locos, vamos, ¿eh? Salveta, vamos.
The aerial view. 15 really just show that movement forward and back. Fifteen on. Thirty fifty. Thirty all. Thirty forty. Couldn't quite get there. Well saved. Uh, their turn to save. Break points. Holds.
brilliant. Oh, and then he misses that, Rico. To Capra. Advantage, Oria Rico. Game, Oria Rico. Three games all. Nothing to separate these two pairs. It promised to be right. And it's that way it's been. Fifteen low. Thirty low. Got to take no prisoners. Forty fifty. That's one of those just not able to dig out from the sidewalk. Still no breaks in this one. By four games to three. Battling out to reach round two. Four three to the eleven seeds. Ellos están teniendo un poquito más de calma, esperando el momento sí. de, de tirarnos bien el chopo y venirse uno o venirse los dos a dar nuestro error. Y, no, y nosotros, espera, nosotros hay un momento en el que tac, tac, que acabamos dando dos errores, medio ahí la tenía. Pero escuchamos una cosa. Un poco más de paz. Sigamos generando, sigamos generando y se van a quedar. Y se van a salir. ¿Es este? Sí. No me salva. Que me se me viene al cuerpo. Salva. Salva. ¿Ha habido algo? Sí, sí. No, salva. Está, escúchame, estamos bien, pero hay que estar un poquito mejor. Hay que decir sí, pero... un poquito más de atrás. Sí. Un poquito vale. más de paciencia desde atrás. Vale. Confianza. Va, eh, seguridad, vamos, eh. Vamos, eh. Twenty four matches today. There will be more. 
Last battle tomorrow. Exciting order of play. Good reflexes. Well, you're always the lap of the gods when it hits the, the metal part of the cage. Yeah, Stupachuk and Dineno will start tomorrow. It'll be Navarro and Teo who will be in action. Love 30. And then the world's best pair, Gallan and LeBron. And then to round off, it will be Bella and Sanyo. That's the second time we've seen that type of leap from Capra to no avail. Fifteen forty. Oh, and that's a costly that's error, and an error in He's truth you can't five, afford to make. Three. First breakthrough comes right at the end of the opening set. 5-3 lead they have. Fifteen love. Forty love. Oh, the opening six games. It was fifty fifty. Now oh, finding it really difficult. Three set points. Gutierrez. That's brilliant. What a way to finish. Three games in a row. Four. Capra and Gutierrez, a new partnership in 2023. And having been in trouble early on on serve, Love 30 opening service game, then had to save a couple of break points in the next service game. They really did show their qualities towards the end of that set, 6-3 to the 11 seats. Eso, eh. Sí, confiemos y juguemos, juguemos como sabemos jugar, como venimos jugando. Muy listo. Pensemos en nuestro juego, en jugar bien. Igual que como venimos entrenando, igual que como venimos jugando estos días. Pensemos en eso, eh. Hay que jugar un rato más bien, ¿vamos? Vamos, eh. Jugamos a ese nivel, van a venir solo los grecos.
No romper de entrada, dale. Bien concentrado, ¿sí? Si no, que lo luchen. Juego en medio. ¿Eh? Juego en medio. No, no, tal cual. Vamos lado, ya está. Pero empezamos de cero ahora, ¿eh? Escucha, ahora, ¿eh? paciencia, tirar por arriba. El día lo hemos hablado hoy. Sí, está sí. feo de cojones. ¿Vale? Está menos feo de lo que estaba esta mañana, pero está feo. Vamos. Eh, Salva, empezamos ahora, ¿eh? Confianza. Eh, y los dos, y tú incluido. La bandeja. Sí, sí, sí. Ya tengo que soltar un poquito sí, sí, sí. más. No, ahora te soltar. Soltar. Sí, Porque la hemos empezado a poner y nos saca. Sí. Va, ¿eh? Va, ¿eh? Lo hemos tirado, loco. Second set. Rico to serve. New balls. This is a really important start to the second set. Aria and Rico. Law 15. Right now, that's one way traffic. Fifteen on. Thirty fifteen. Thirty old. These moments you've just got to take in. Oh, how did he get that back? The best point of the match, and no wonder we see yes. that reaction. So good. Turn defense into attack. Advantage, Oria Rico.
Yes. Again, a, a costly error there. Rico who talks about doesn't have regrets. It's just about taking defeats and experience to grow. Game, Oriarico. First game, second set. Yeah, that's good service hold. Some instructions. Garrett, the first as he did. In the open set. Fifteen long. Thirty long. Forty long. Gorgeous touch. Found their way back in it though. Game. Cabra with it. One game more. Still yet to be broken. That was, that was that particular drop volley.
Ha! Amazing. Fifteen love. Just misjudged it in the end. Gutierrez, his best run last year was in Rome. Playing with his partner John Sands, they made the a last eight before losing to LeBron and Gala and actually beat to Sanchez and Capra on their way to the quarterfinals. Game. So he had the bragging rights over his partner. by two games to one. And Aurea and Rico starting strongly in the second, like they did at the beginning of the match. So, two one on serve in set two. Vale. Pues, eh? Perfecto. Porque se me va. Si tiene que tocarla. Sí, pero escúchame. Es que se me va yendo. Sí. Porque aquí va para allá. Sí. O sea, no sé. Si, sí, sí, te entiendo. Claro. Cuando tú has tirado el globo has visto que se iba para allá. Entonces, cuando a ti te tiran globo, al principio tú piensas que va por aquí. Pero a mí se me acaba yendo. Pero vale, mira, luego de aquí no se me ha ido lateral. No, escúchame, Jerez, y tres cosas. Espera, por favor. espera un momento. Yo lo que digo es. Que el cuando, tiras el, cuando has tirado el globo allá. Vale, vale, lo tengo claro. Cuando te tiran aquí, sí. se va para allá. Perfecto, voy. Entonces, yo. no, yo puedo ir, pero estate atento que la voy a tocar porque se me va. Vale, vale, vale. vale. Okay. Me está entendiendo vale, lo primero. Sí, 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 porque sí, sí, si sí, me complica, se me tocará. Vale, ya está. Por eso, lo primero que es que lo tenéis claro. Pero al, re, al resto, o sea, al vale. saque, he tocado una sola y salvas. No pasa Una cosa. Eh, en, la, en la defensa, más paciencia en caminar, por favor, no entremos tan rápido, el paso no lo demos tan rápido y si lo doy, vale, y no me sale bien el globo, coño, vuelve, no te vayas para adelante, vale, vale. dos, por favor, intentemos sacar con volea, si podemos, al centro Agustín, que se le abre sí. más el, a uno, sí. la tira afuera, o dos, se te abre a ti para tirar el rulo sí. lateral, sí. vale, más el centro, eh, buenos restos de globo ahora, sí, confianza, eh, eh, seguridad ahora, eh, relajaros, seguridad, eh, estamos bien ahora, eh, eh salvita, camíname, eh, en la volea, Fifteen love. Fifty-three minutes on the clock. There's currently three matches being played here in Doha. Actually, Yangas and Arroyo, who were meant to be the last match of the day on centre court, matches being moved to grandstand three. That's the second court here. Actually, it's been a strong start from Rodriguez and. Christian Gutierrez, three love, the Spanish Argentinian partnership. And then the other match, it's 5 4 in the third. Ah. 40 love to the qualifiers. I mean, Fermacell and 
Jimenez Casas against Perino and Alba. That's easy. As was the service game. Two games all. In fact, the sort of holding serve more comfortably now than they did at the beginning of the match. Capra and Gutierrez. Fifteen. Low. Fifteen That's wanting a bit of attention to back wall. Third you. D30. It's a game point. Somehow, game for Rico. Or Rico lead by three games to two. They're certainly battling a Spanish pair, and they're certainly right in this one as they were early stages. 
Yeah, that's the open yeah, set. El tema mental. Wow. Sé que es difícil, pero si aguantamos un tres juegos lo más sólido posible, aunque sea tirando para arriba, se está calentando, os lo sí. digo. Se está calentando. Sí. Que nos lo gane. Pero sí. vamos a intentar enganchar tres juegos seguidos con un error solo. Ya porque nos lo ganen. Con ¿Eh? ¿Eh? O sea, aquí está perfecto, ¿eh? Nos falta un poquito más el resto. Le volvemos uno o dos difíciles, una bola, una o dos bolas difíciles y le quebramos. Vamos. Vamos a nuestro saque. Peña, me la compra. Pero, eh, que pasen mil bolas, por favor. Sí, sí, vale. Ahora, seguridad, eh. Vamos a por ellos, va. Vamos. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Really, there's a match that's highly competitive. Just maybe two or three of those errors. The difference. Top draw. A couple of times. Miracle recoveries. 40 30. Three games all. Fifteen love. That's the Van Decker down the middle. Keeping them cold on the surfs in this set. Horia and Rico. Yeah. 
Holtz. Some of the recoveries. Oriarico. Oriarico leads by four games to three. Just need a little bit of inspiration. The Spaniards might just take this second set. Being able to keep the Argentinians at bay. The 11 seats. 4-3, Oria and Rico. Es eh, por no decírtelo antes. Lo del globo que lo tengo que tocar. Eh, buenos es que no me da para más, José. ¿Eh? Entre que no la veo y se me va, solo te puedo cubrir así. ¿Sabes una cosa? ¿Sabes, una ¿Sabes cosa? que te digo? ¿Sabes una cosa? Que si quieras para más. Para mucho más. Solo puedo tocarla así. Pasa, pero soy perfecta. ¿Para qué quieres más? No hace falta para, más. ¿Para qué más? No está fácil. No, que, se, que se nos acaba quedando. Sí, pero escúchame una cosa. El break que nos hacen es una bandeja que falló, tío. Una bandeja que ha fallado. ¿Eh? Escucha. Olvídate de Luego ya. sí que ya al resto ha sido más difícil, pero... Chicos, ¿sabes lo que te digo? Vamos a por este game punto a punto. Vale, vamos a por este game punto a punto. Sólidos, lo hacemos y tenemos el saque, ¿eh? Vamos, ¿eh? Vamos, ¿eh? eh el culo abajo ya patas, ¿eh? Buenos Ahora, globos, ¿eh? Vamos a este. Vamos. The last match of the day, the final instructions from their coach. Yeah, they've done really well. Premier Paddle are pleased to partner. A WHO Foundation this month. We've seen all the impact of the devastating earthquakes in Turkey and Syria that have had. As we know, the region is in dire need of human humanitarian aid. The WHO Foundation are coordinating a number of organizations to this disaster through the Health Emergencies Alliance and have set up a targeted fund fundraising campaign to donate. Please visit earthquakeresponse.who.foundation. Thirty love. Forty love. Looking like another love service game. Fifty. 
faults. Game Capra Quitter. Well, a match. Four games all. Where they've still haven't been broken. A set where we've gone with surf. And this is where they really need to continue to play the sort of paddle that they've played so far in this set. Aurea and Rico. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Has he? No, didn't get there. 40. She overran it to Capra. Thirty. Well, they led forty love. Point coming up. They don't want to be uh, at juice. Not at this stage of the match. Points. Magnificent. And you've got to work as a pair. Did they do that well? Initially from the hand skills of Capra. And then his partner, 40 love to Juice. to go for placement it might cost him this is the rally of the match and finished 
in terrific style there from Rico. Advantage or your Rico. Crowd really appreciating all four men contributed. Dynamic paddle. Such an important stage of the, the match, this one. Just the two matches remain. Centre court and grandstand three. Game, Orio Rico. Orio Rico leads by five games to four. Keep knocking on the door. And who knows, maybe the next game will be the time that they break for the first time, which would mean the third set coming your way. Down 15 minutes on the clock. Hemos hecho este juego, hemos hecho por Agustín el primer punto, por Lucho el segundo, por Agustín el tercero, sí, pero... tiramos tres fuera. Hemos ah, vuelto a hacerlo. Barro. Juega, juega Josete. Este juego último era 40-0. Sí. Y han sido tres fallos consecutivos o no. Sí. Vale, ¿qué hacemos ahí? ¿Qué quieres que hagamos? Que te pute, que nos digamos. Que igual hecho, que tú mismo cuando la bandeja. Me tienes que decir me cago en tu madre. Meter la, de la bola 20 ¿O qué veces? hacemos? Sí, vale, y ya está. Ahí, ¿Sí? ahí me pute, me calenté un poco, ¿no? Un poco no mucho. Eh, aunque antes, ¿sabéis no, qué pasa si rompe, que te eh? dije? ¿Sabéis qué pasa si somos sólidos ahora al resto? Salva, no, ¿sabéis qué pasa si somos sólidos al resto? <risa> ¿Eh? ¿Sabéis qué pasa si somos sólidos? Que nos llevamos el set. Va, eh. Vamos, José. Va, eh. Hacemos Brother, trabajar. Te lo voy a hacer aquí. Fifteen love. The first point set the tone. Just can't get ahead. Thirty love. By the way, that match on grandstand three, the Angas and Arroyo have struck back. They were down three love. They're now up a break four three. 13 seats. That was caught out. 14. Oh. It's harder to hit it in the net than it. Yeah. Umpire didn't make himself heard loud enough. Ahmed, Nader. Five games old. He's missed a few of those, the 26 year old.
15 love. Now they talked about they do have a, a steep friendship. And certainly in this together, Oria and Rico battling hard. Game. They had 40 love for finding themselves in trouble. Game. Audio Rico. But four change, please. Audio this Rico time, by six games to five. A service hold to love. Eight. And the serve continues to dominate. Vamos, eh. Vamos con el saque y después vamos al tablero, dale. Vamos. Vamos bien concentrado este saque que después el tablero lo vamos a tener, eh. Vamos a jugar bien concentrado todos los puntos, dale. Desde ahora, eh. Desde ahora, vamos. Nuestro saque seguimos firmes, dale. Vamos al tiebreak, ¿eh? En el tiebreak tenemos más nosotros, ¿eh? Vamos. ¡Ay! Vámonos, vámonos, vamos. Vale. No pasa nada, olvídate, ¿eh? Sí, sí, sí. Vamos. Vale. Hacemos te saque. Vamos, te saque. Sí. Vamos. Vale, por más sólidos, muy sólidos, ¿eh? Vamos ahora, eh, darle la hora. Quiero otro cambio aquí. Vamos a animar, eh. 15-0. Comienzan con buen pie este duodécimo juego. Capra y Gutiérrez. Es mentiroso. El por tres que no sale. Con Pro José Terrico. Llegó hasta la puerta, incluso salva a Oria, pero la pelota tocó en la parte superior del por tres y acabó quedándose en la pista. 30-0. Sorprende a Salva Oria con la salida de pared. Esto es 40-0. Capra con el amago que compran. Oria y Rico con el punto y final al duodécimo juego. Y es momento de abrocharnos los cinturones porque nos subimos al carrusel de emociones del tiebreak. El desempate de este set determinará si tenemos o no tercer parcial con la clasificación de la dupla argentina. ¡Oh, sí! 
momento One, comienza zero. con fortuna para los españoles. Oriarico. Igual le decirte, te pido perdón, pero me alegro mucho, ¿no? <risa> Se escuchaba, creo que a la perfección. <risa> La sinceridad de José Terrico que le decía a Capra, te pido perdón, pero me alegro mucho, porque el punto a su favor, pues ahora mismo es determinante, como lo es este remate de Capra que va directo al cristal, mini break para Oria Rico 2-0. Segundo servicio. Tenemos los jugadores. En este caso Capra se quejaba de que no había escuchado las indicaciones del árbitro. José te le decía que lo había hecho muy bajito, pero que por él era mala, con lo cual... Se pone de nuevo la pelota en juego con el servicio y se reanuda el juego. Nada acá para sorprender. Oria se plantó en la red. Defendiendo la pareja española, la Argentina, al mando de las operaciones. Se la quita Capra encima como puede. Arriba, nada. Arriba, Lucho. Lucho bloqueando. Se tira Gutiérrez también. Pero es bueno, globo de Josete. Pelota, Mercedes, José Terrico. Va a llegar Capra, va a llegar Capra, va a llegar Capra para con el revés. Un escorto. Plástico y efectivo, desterrar la pelota, 2-1 sobre el alambre. De nuevo los argentinos, los españoles que están dando el todo por el todo para intentar forzar la tercera y definitiva manga. Gutiérrez se tira a la red Se acelera sobre el revés Con fortuna Toca la cinta y la pelota pasa No como esta vez rico el amago de Capra Y levanta el globo Agustín Gutiérrez Se acelera con la chiquita Comienza el duelo de voleas El ángulo de Capra les permite contragolpear de nuevo Capra condicionando ¡Oh! con la volea Lucho Capra para recuperar el mini break 2-2. La pareja argentina que iguala el marcador y lo hace con la voracidad, la confianza y la anarquía de Lucho Capra. Bloquea Capra el tiro de Rico. Y ahora llega el mini break. Se queda la pelota de Oria. Tres puntos consecutivos revierten el marcador en este inicio del tie break. Contra el globo Oria. Gutiérrez se el remate por tres. Sí, incontestable, incontestable lo intentó Sioria para levantar la pelota, pero el remate de Oveja Gutiérrez se fue alejando. Aceleración en la definición pone el 4-2. Consolida en el mini break. Paz en ese cambio de lado, recordemos que a los seis puntos de muerte súbita del tiebreak es cuando se cambia 
La posición en pista. Mira el Lucho Capra. Sale segundos. Saque de los que tiene. Atrás, atrás. Dentro, José, que se queda. Que se anima con el remate en paralelo. Toca José, pero no define. ¡Vamos! ¡Bien! Golea a Agustín Gutiérrez, dándole continuidad. Lo que Lucho Capra consiguió generar 5-2 para los argentinos, la pareja española que está obligada a no perder sus dos servicios. De lo contrario, se despedirán de este mayor de Qatar. Que lo deja Gutiérrez, que engañó por completo a Salva y amagó con ir al centro, acelerando y desaceleró, acurrucando la pelota en el cruzado. 6-2 en el tiebreak, son cuatro opciones de partido para Gutiérrez Capra. Y llega a la primera porque la de José y 6-3 y 7-6, juego, set. Y partido para Lucho Capra y Agustín Gutiérrez. Están ya en los 16 avos de final de este Qatar Mayor 2023. Bien, carajo, bien. Tiene que empezar a sumar, tiene que empezar a sumar de a poco. Ahí están los ganadores de este último encuentro aquí en la pista central porque recordamos una vez más loco, vamos, loco, se ha despistado, una despistada que se ha incorporado tarde a la retransmisión. El último encuentro, esos cinco que teníamos para el día de hoy en esta pista central, se ha trasladado al Grand Stand número 3, donde Miguel Matía está a los mandos de la narración en español. Con lo cual podéis quedaros aquí para ver, para vivir y para escuchar las... Declaraciones de los ganadores del último encuentro de la jornada de Lucho Capra y de Agustín Gutiérrez, pero a la vez podéis abrir una pestaña, una ventana con ese gran stand número 3 para ver qué está ocurriendo en ese partidazo de jóvenes talentos entre Alonso Rodríguez, Cristian Gutiérrez, Mike Yanguas y Alex Arroyo. Como siempre, marca de la casa todos y cada uno de los partidos del micro del mundo. Con seguimiento en vivo, con live streaming y también con estadísticas en directo, el live scoring para aportar todo lo relativo al partido. Vamos a ver las estadísticas del encuentro. Ahí están. Y la diferencia, pues es bastante, bastante, bastante evidente. Y es que conseguir su ese break fue el primer set, el break decidió el segundo y el partido. Vámonos con Lucho Capra y Agustín Gutiérrez y nuestra queridísima Bárbara Pita Antonio. Así es, ya estoy con los ganadores de este último partido en el Kurt Central. Felicitaciones y bienvenidos a la segunda ronda, Lucho Capra y Agustín Gutiérrez. Vamos a hablar, lógicamente, en español y en inglés de este partido. Pero antes, Lucho, quisiera saber cuáles son estas primeras sensaciones que van teniendo como pareja, porque claramente se están estrenando en esta temporada 2023. ¿Cómo fue esa pretemporada y cómo se sintieron hoy después de este partido? ¿Cómo andás? Bueno, contentos de sumar nuestra primer victoria, eh, fue una pretemporada larga, eh, creo que nos faltaba un poquito de, de competencia, eh, hoy se notaron un poquito esos nervios, pero bueno, nos sacamos esa, esa primera victoria de la mochila y bueno, de a poquito creo que encontramos nuestro nivel y creo que si vamos jugando así, nos vamos soltando más, eh, vamos a tener un, un muy buen nivel y vamos a poder rendir a, a lo que queremos hacer. Now, could you explain the same in English, please? Yes, well, uh, it was our, our first uh, triumph in, in the season. We, are, we were a little nervous, um, so we, we are very happy to, to have won our first match. And I think if we continue playing in, in, that, in that way, uh, we, we, could, we could reach the level we want to, to, to do in the court. 
Muy bien, gracias Lucho. Agustín, en tu caso, también quiero saber esas primeras sensaciones después de este debut en un Major, que nunca es fácil, estás también estrenando compañero, y qué significa para vos jugar al lado de semejante jugador de pádel como Lucho Capra. ¿Cómo estás? Bienvenido. Bueno, muchísimas gracias. Eh, feliz, estoy feliz. Eh, veníamos nerviosos, como, como dijo Lucho. Eh, una primera victoria hacía falta a la pareja porque en los partidos de entrenamiento lo hacíamos bien, estábamos haciéndolo muy bien la pretemporada, hubo mucho esfuerzo detrás y, y nada, esos nervios, yo creo que mientras más trabajas, eh, más nervios tenés. Cuando no trabajas nada, yo creo que juegas más suelto, pero bueno, es la mochila que, que tocó, pudimos sacar el partido adelante eh, contra dos amigos, son muy buenos amigos, así que los felicito por el partido que hicieron. José te fue mi compañero el año pasado, así que era un partido también, había muchos nervios por, por ese lado también, pero bueno, contento por nosotros, eh, contento por compartir pista con Lucho, que es un grande de este deporte, no hace falta que lo diga yo. Y nada, intentar seguir demostrando, intentar seguir creyendo en nosotros y en el nivel ese que, que sabemos que tenemos. Eh, creo que si nosotros nos sacamos esos nervios al principio del partido podemos, podemos hacer mucho. Así que nada, gracias a todos por seguirlo a través de la web, de, de donde sea y a los, a los que se quedaron hasta tan tarde. Ok, they were looking for the first victory because they are working together from this season. So he's so happy to work with Lucho Capra. Thank you so much. Gracias, chicos. Por supuesto, todo tuyo, mira. Eh, bueno, antes que nada, dedicarle la victoria a Javi, que por una lástima no, no pudo estar acá, pero estoy seguro que muy prontito va, va a estar con nosotros en el banco, en los torneos. Así que dedicarle nuestra primera victoria a él. Muchas gracias. Es importante acordarse de todos. Gracias, chicos. A descansar. Nosotros nos despedimos. Esto fue todo por hoy, pero mañana los esperamos con más acción aquí desde esta pista central. Bueno, pues despedimos la jornada inaugural de este Main Court aquí en el Oredo Qatar Major 2023. Qué bueno que empezó. Por fin, Premier Padel 2023, la segunda temporada del circuito oficial de la Federación Internacional de Padel, de Qatar Sports Investments y de la Asociación Profesional de Jugadores de Padel. Nos despedimos recordando en el Gran Stand número 3 el partido con Miguel Matías en directo. Y lo hacemos con esta imagen de Doha, de Qatar, de la capital mundial del Padel, esta semana aquí, en Premier Padel, aquí, en la segunda temporada del circuito.